just stick up the stream. I gotta get back on that Patreon shout out page. You guys know who you are. Yeah, Take away basement dweller. Uh, Jamie Russell, all you guys are in the mix, and I appreciate all of you. You guys are absolutely rock stars. Uh, shout out, of course, to our top tier. Oh, by the way, you are listening to Josh's Hangout, aka Smoky Saint. Um, he was um, talking about me. I don't know why he keeps on talking about me uh, while blocking me. Uh, Josh, if you want to talk to me or ask me questions, ask me directly or um, invite me to your stream, but you got to unblock me. <laughs> you know, you block me on StreamYard and you block me on like Dixie channel. How am I supposed to like communicate with you? You know, and, and the fact that you lie and saying that you didn't block me, it's just another cowardly lie. Uh, we all know the father of all lies is your daddy Satan. So I can understand you are doing the same thing like your daddy, but come on, it's too cowardly. Anyway, I'm going to review your uh, hangout. It seems like you are talking about me down, I don't know when. I, I cannot watch all your four hour videos. Uh, I, I don't know how you can find yourself so much time. I mean, it's like Saturday night there, and and the fact that you are just stuck there in this little in that little hole, talking against some other people or whatever, talking behind their backs or making gossips and false representing and strawmanning. I mean, you could have just gone out like somewhere and you know take a break or whatever. But I can see that. You know, I guess like the place that you are in is kind of like no people, you cannot go anywhere. So I guess that's what you are doing. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, uh, good for you, Josh. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's see what you gotta what you gotta say. Uh, Saint, one of our actual partner saints is Jeremy Martin. Jeremy Martin is one of our top tier partner saints for the channel so shout out special shout out to jeremy martin uh, been a really diligent uh, beautiful soul man great supporter of the channel uh, great heart for god um, really really great guy absolutely really appreciate you jeremy you're you're a backbone to the channel brother and you're very interesting how he just you know he loves his uh, minions hey josh you are to love uh, you know your brethren not the ones that are kissing your butt all right i mean that's like if you do so even heathens do that even like um, so-called unsafe people do that and in fact you are showing every sign of your uh, cult in a way but yeah i mean you gotta love your brethren and even christ said that they meaning like those people who are not christians would sort of say they'll know that you are a christian if they see you loving your brother, loving one another, not loving your within cult group. Yeah. So even that alone kind of tells me that you are not a Christian, Josh. Much appreciate you. So thank you so much for your contribution and all your constant support. Really, really appreciate it. Oh, Ra! Oh, Ra! You spineless, cowardly, bitch-made, Satan-sucking whore of hell cockroach of a man okay did you hear that everyone i mean do you honestly think a guy like josh do you think that this person named josh do you think he's a christian at all the fact that he would be saying that kind of things uh over and over i, I mean i can't i cannot imagine you know like christ said to love not only to love one another, but also love others. Let's say that, you know, Josh is not considering uh, Ra as a Christian. D does it give him the right to say such things? No, of course not. So right there, again, again, tells me that he is not a Christian. I mean, this is not, like, difficult at all. How dare you? Shame on you. Shame on you to lie. Shame on you to lie in my room after the fact. You know full well 
that in that stream you were stating that I was unsafe. Well, I mean, if Ra were to say that he is going uh, to hell, I would agree with Ra because, uh, you know, the way that Josh is doing uh, is is actually acting up like this every day. I mean, there's not one single day that you know. Uh, goes by without any insults, insulting other Christians. Um, just because uh, he has, he holds certain doctrine, and if someone disagree with his doctrine, then, you know, he deems to, deem them to hell, you know. So, I don't understand, uh, uh, just because, let's say, uh, Ra says that you are going to hell, Josh, you know, it, I don't know why you would be so worked up about it because it is true <laughs> that you are going to hell if you keep that up uh, and besides Ross says he never said it I mean what why, why are you accusing him of saying that when he never said it uh, uh, were you someone else before or it must be some kind of quantum thing is that what's going on Josh now now, you may, you may say, well, that doesn't mean I said you're going to... <laughs> this guy's so effeminate, man. I mean, the way he addressed things, I mean, it's like, you know, like how those, you know, when I said effeminate people, I mean, he talks like that. Let me borrow Josh's term. He talks like one, one, of, one of those beach-made, effeminate, low-budget fellows. <laughs> you know <laughs> going to how okay i'll tell you what so you may have completely baked your brain out of any potentiality of even basic logic follow through like a two premise singular conclusion type of argument talking like that simple but you say i'll, I'll go ahead and carry it through for you i'm going to try to i'm going to try to put it at kindergarten level for you all so i mean he's talking about some logic but he cannot even understand like for example um uh, like how, for example, oh, okay, let me give you a good example. Like, you know, Josh believes that the flood was a local flood, right? I mean, right there is quite illogical. Uh, I mean, if you have two eyes, you can clearly see what uh, God has done. God has flooded the earth, not the wor not the world, the earth, and. Josh's logic is that, oh yeah, you know, God flooded only that, you know, particular area where Noah was living, therefore it's local flood. No, you silly one. God said he flooded the earth, okay? It's including uh, immediate vicinity of um, uh, the place that Noah was living, but also the whole place, the, the whole earth. And besides, you know, I mean, if it is local flood, then why would God have Noah to build the ark for 120 years, man? Within that 120 years, he can move to anywhere, you know? I mean, see that? It's like that kind of logic. I mean, if it is like local flood, then why, you know, why the animals? You know, whether they came to the uh, to the ark by themselves, or whether Noah uh, gathered them, it doesn't matter, but, you know, why the animals if it is local flood, you know, I mean, it's, this is kind of thing, illogical things that Josh espouses, and then he would be, uh, he would, he thinks that he can have critical mind towards other people, but it's not a critical mind, it's like insulting, stupid, ad hoc, you know, voices, and, and that's not even creative at all. So when you are the one with all the stupid heresies, who are you to judge other people that they have logical mind or not, Josh? Come on, man. It's just ridiculous. So that you can understand and hopefully not be so blatantly stupid the next time you retard your way through your... In this guy is so retarded. It's incredible. <laughs> Calling other people retards and blah, blah, blah. Hey, Josh, you're the one uh, retarded one. Come on, man. Emotional meanderings in a side chat. Let me help you. <laughs> Meandering. Let me help you, you stupid, disgusting... I mean, like, his insults are all the same. I mean, you know, like, at first it's, it comes to you as a shock. But 
<laughs> when you come across with this idiot brain Josh like a couple of times you get used to his insults and you you'll realize that his insults are like uncreative not creative at all you know what I'm saying and that's why I call him low budget it's not because he you know, doesn't have any money it's because <laughs> his he has this little mind very low budget little mind and he thinks that he can insult other people other people, especially Christians, when he is not himself a Christian, you know. I mean, as a Christian, you are, are you are a born again uh, creation, and when you are born again, and the Spirit of God, the uh, when the Holy Spirit working in you, there are certain fruits that are generated. But you know, Josh is getting worse and worse, and not only he cannot uh, demonstrate those fruits of the Spirit. You know, he gets, he gets worse and worse. It totally works against him. So anyway, I, hopefully I'll be able to uh, uh, go over that and um, talk about it. But um, for right now, I don't know why he's so, you know, why he detests, uh, why he hates uh, Ra. You know, whether Ra is a Christian or not, why even, why does he even have hate? That, that, is that Christian? <laughs> Old backwards great faggot. Let me help you. <laughs> no, Josh, you yourself said that you are quote-unquote faggot. Okay? I mean, for real. Uh, I mean, we all know your history in your real estate place. How you are working with those people, you call them faggots or whatever. Okay? I'm not saying that you know, there's something wrong with those people. Well, I'm saying that you were the one who were in that and, and may still may be in that sort of lifestyle. Okay, Josh? So when you say that I am not with God or not of the body of Christ... Well, I, if Ross said it, then I definitely got to agree with that. Uh, no, Josh, just because you regurgitate certain theologies or certain doctrines of man doesn't make you to be in the body of Christ. Okay, Josh? Uh, you are, by implication, saying I'm unsaved and going to hell. This is how that works. Oh, I see. So, Ra didn't say that you're going to hell, but in your mind, in your little mind, uh, with your little, small, pathetic logic, and therefore, you know, Ra is saying that, you know, he said going to hell. Well, then Ra didn't say, did it? So you are lying, aren't you? It, just because you have certain uh, presumption in your head doesn't mean that Ra said that. So again, you lied, Josh. Okay. So when you're in side chat judging me as being quote-unquote non-Christian, unless you want to come in the room <clears throat> and present yourself as a universalist who believes everyone goes to heaven, that I'm going to believe from that statement that you're saying I'm unsaved on my way to hell. I don't think there's any other way around that. I so, again, uh, the point is that Ra never said it, but you're the one saying that he said it based on your presumption. All right? For all I know, that the uh, Ra was saying that as of right now, you are going to hell. Okay? But along the line in your life somewhere sometime you truly repent and believe on Christ then obviously you are not going to hell do you understand the difference Josh probably not I need salvation <laughs> if I don't get salvation I'm going to hell and the only way I'm gonna get salvation is to listen to your particularly nonsensical contradictory theological that's another straw man isn't it i mean did ra said that at all oh, if you don't listen to me you are going to hell man this idiot josh is just nothing but straw man you know based on certain presumptions you know he would render unrighteous judgments like this it's incredible this little kid particularly retarded view of hypergrace yeah <laughs> you're the that's one retarded man retarded man you are the one who's retarded. And also, you don't even know what hypergrace means. I don't espouse it, but, you know, you are the one saying that hypergrace this or blah, blah, blah. You and you are the one actually uh, working against the very nature of God. You know, God is love. Yet you think that, 
you know, God is not love. For example, taking away you know, one's salvation. I mean, there's a difference between uh, one walking away from faith and God taking away salvation that is given to him already. All right? But you are mixing those, those two. And by doing that, you are actually taking away the very nature of God. So, therefore, you are the one um, spreading heresy. Do you understand that, Josh? Probably not. <laughs> In order to be safe. <laughs> Raw, you're spineless, coward. See, see, you probably noticed that half, more than half of the things that Josh is saying is actually nothing. Nothing, right? And because of the insults. And he has no contents whatsoever. And if you take away all his insults, there's no content, you know? Lying, duplicitous, double speaking. See, all these are like false accusations, aren't they? It's just like his daddy Satan. Disgraceful, pure Shonda. Pure Shonda? What the heck is pure Shonda? <laughs> This guy is so gay, he's incredible. <laughs> Cockroach, detestable, primate excuse of a human being. You be creative, man. If you want to insult somebody, be creative, like me or whatever. I mean, how can you just use the same words every freaking time? Are you a robot or something? You know, I mean, come on, Josh. You can't, better, you can't do better than that. Come on. You are everything that is wrong. <laughs> With online theology, online <laughs> apologetics, and online spirituality. You are everything that is wrong about the modern church. Which you have failed, okay? I mean, give an example or whatever. What have you, what have you done anyway to make such judgments like that? Yeah, okay? I mean, w w w I did a rock committed certain atrocity or some, certain bad things? What? Give an example, man. All he was is that probably, according to you, Ra saying that you are not in the body of Christ. And then you go on on and on and on about it. And then compare it to like modern churches. I mean, what the heck, man? And the paths of perpetual validation and enablement therein. You are... So, like, if you take away his insults and if you take away his false accusations, Josh has nothing but fart. matter of your very existence to even be allowed to go around with any semblance of recognition as a Christian at all. Um, well, if I were to borrow the same logic, then you are the same way, too. All right? I mean, the reason why I'm giving you recognition is, first of all, as I have said before, you are nothing but an entertainment for me. Nothing but an entertainment, you know. I, you know, it's like Sunday here in Korea, and you know, I have some time, and my girlfriend is napping, <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta like do something. And I was able to catch the end of your stupid stream, and I'm just making a comment. You know what I'm saying? Um, is actually a shame to Christianity, and though. Listen, Josh, you little uh, bastard. <laughs> Is the little conceited monster. You don't uh, pres uh, you don't represent Christianity, let alone you're not even a Christian. Okay, I mean I don't understand. You gotta be able to establish the fact that you are a Christian first of all. And please note that just because that you regurgitate certain theologies and precepts and doctrines of man doesn't mean that you are a Christian. Okay, Josh. In fact, if I were to borrow what Jesus said, and seeing that you cannot even love other Christians, that alone tells me that you are not a Christian. I, I, I don't know why it's so difficult for you, you know, uh, and especially for those of us who are truly born again in the Holy Ghost, you know, over the time, He works uh, in you, you know, and therefore produce uh, good fruit. Uh, uh, this, we call that the spirit of, I mean, the, the, the fruit of the spirit, okay, is produced by the Holy Spirit in you. But you do not display any, any so-called fruit of the spirit. You know, what you display is nothing but works of uh, flesh, in a way. 
I don't. I, I, I'm sure that you cannot get this. I'm sure you cannot get what I'm what I'm saying. Hopefully later on that you know I get to share some passages and you know whatever. But you know, by seeing that you have no fruit of the spirit. By seeing such you know non evidence that you know that you display, and also seeing all that uh, works of the flesh, I can only conclude that. You are not a Christian. <laughs> Those that would dare claim to be Christian, that would validate absolute scumbags <laughs> like you. Uh, any of those people over there who are validating this heretical pile of human shit uh, as an actual I mean, Christian. like, okay, I don't know why you are uh, displaying so much hate towards him. It's like as if... Um, <sighs> As if that, you know, you're not a Christian. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you're not a Christian. <sighs> Let's see. Let me just look uh, at um, the Galatians 5, 19 to 21. And that's where it displays, you know, what the works of flesh is. Okay. Meaning acts of the flesh, you know, according to NIV that you love to enjoy. Let me just share that in NIV. I mean, I prefer KJV, but you probably won't understand uh, King James Version. So let me let me just uh, dig that up in NIV. It says the acts of the flesh are obvious, just like just like you, sexual immorality. I I don't know, but I would not know about this because it's private life, I guess. But you know, given your past experiences and past things such as you you know what you have done with a minor I, I would say that you know you are quite sexually immoral impurity debauchery idolatry especially this idolatry part idolatry it doesn't only mean that you are serving buddha as your god or having different religion but also idolatry is like golden calf you know you for example putting the bible as golden calf you see, Bible contains the words of God. However, it doesn't mean that the word of God is the Bible. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Bible is put together by a whole bunch of scholars and into 66 books. There were more books, but they uh, took out you know, a few of them. So now, is there, now there are 66 books. So when you actually idolize uh, the book, you will say that the Bible is the, the Word of God, okay? But what's correct is the Bible contains the Word of God. However, it's, uh, the Word of God is not restricted within the Bible, meaning just because the, uh, the Bible goes away doesn't mean that the Word of God will go away, you know? Like, I mean, let's say... Uh, there is uh, anti antichrist getting rid of all the Bible in the world. Okay, do you think that the word of God will disappear? No. Let's say uh, the word goes kaput, right? And after all, it does say that it will be under fury and forbidden heat it will be gone away. So when it does, including anything that is made physical, will go away. And that also includes those paper, ink and paper. And that also includes so-called the Bible, the book. Right, so when the Bible goes away, are you going to say that by, uh, the Word of God will disappear? And are you saying that the Bible became flesh? <laughs> when it says the Word, the, the word uh, made flesh in John 1.14, for example. See... That kind of idolatry also. So you're idolizing the book itself. And then, uh, based on your stupid idolatry, you're going to condemn me or other people. All right? And then let's continue. Uh, I'm, I'm sharing verse 20 in NIV. Idolatry and witchcraft, uh, hatred, 
I don't know about witchcraft because I think this is also private matter. But, you know, the way that you are witching other people, the way you are tempting other people with your stupid jargons, I would say that's also witchcraft. Hatred. Well, this is your forte, isn't it, Josh? I mean, you hate people like left and right, like there is no tomorrow. Discord, all right? I mean, this is so obvious, isn't it? And jealousy. <laughs> you are so jealous of me. Fits of rage. Wow, that's just perfectly fitting you. Selfish, selfish ambitions, dissensions, fractions. Do you know what those means? Okay, fraction kind of means like just like how you are doing. All right, you making your small group within, let's say, in the body of Christ, and with a little group that you are hating all other Christians. You know, that sort of things are called fraction. Dissension is like. You know, disagreement, all right? But not just disagreement, but that leads to discord or, or strifes or contentions. So that's exactly what you've been doing on YouTube. So, I mean, dissensions and fractions, perfectly you. <laughs> Envy, drunkenness, orgy, and the like. That's you, totally. So all these uh, works of flesh or... Uh, aka X of the flesh, according to NIV, actually perfectly fitting you. It's on you. It is on you. And I would recommend you go reread Second John and realize that you're going to be a partaker in the perverseness and the trash and the deviances and the heresies that this... See, thing. all these accusations, is, 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 it's not going to work in the body of Christ. And that's one of the reasons why your daddy Satan got kicked out from the kingdom of heaven because of these accusations. Whether you think that certain accusation is true or false, we do not make accusations. Christians don't, don't make that sort of accusations, Josh. You know what I'm saying? Because whatever you think that is right may be wrong to other people. Do you understand? So all this accusation, no matter how much you believe that is right, according to me and other people, and also, of course, according to Josh, that's wrong. So when it's wrong, it's obviously you're making false accusations, right? This is why uh, that accuser of brethren, no matter uh, how much you think that is right or wrong, or true or false, the accuser of brethren, Satan, has been kicked out. And this is why also that you will be kicked out in the body of Christ, no matter how much you package yourself with theologies. Okay, Josh? Disgusting thing. <laughs> this idiotic Woodstock reject is going to... Wow, so lovely, huh? So lovely. I mean, why is, why is there like so much hatred? in you, Josh, seeking all kind of discord, you know, dissensions and fractions. Why? Why is, why are there that kind of like acts of the flesh or works of flesh in you? Why? Because you're not born again in the Holy Ghost, Josh. I'm going to put out there, okay? You should be cautious. You should, ladies and gentlemen, might I encourage you to treat these people with a level of caution for the toxic theology. Well, I think that you can live uh, that sort of things, decision to wise Christians, because like uh, most of the people, uh, like myself, can see right through you. I can see right through your stupid dumbass. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter how much you tell other people. If they are truly born again, and therefore guided by the uh, by the uh, Holy Ghost, they will be le they will be led to all truth. Okay, they are not going to be led by you. They will be led by the Holy Ghost. Theological cesspools that they are. I mean, logical cesspool and all that uncreative insults. I mean, that is you actually. And as I have said, I explain to you why you are not logical at all. You know, for example, like the globe, global uh, flood, you know, you're espousing some local flood when it does, wouldn't even make sense, 
according to the scripture. Hmm? Especially when they go out of their way to be so bold and stupid as to actually reveal themselves. Yeah, you are revealing yourself. And I don't know why you can be so bold and stupid, Josh. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> that is the situation and to be aware of. So I'm done. He says five minutes. Well, I'm not waiting five minutes. I'm done. You can either join the show or I'm out. Oh, he's, he's going away now? Times, especially if he's only five minutes behind. Uh, so go <sighs> ahead on to the record. In finality of conclusion, Rob Time Traveler is a mentally worthless, spurting weak. And this guy's talking about himself, as you know. Okay, so Josh, whenever you condemn other people, your own words will condemn you. I hope that you realize that. Okay? He infused burnout piece of subhuman shit. <laughs> and he... Well, let's say he is actually what you actually accuse, right? Let's say. That's what he is. I mean, are you going to even show any compassion towards a, a such guy? I mean, that's what Christians do, right? If he's in such condition, you should actually love him and try to guide him kindly. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have no Holy Ghost, and therefore you have no fruit of the Spirit. Oh, man, I keep forgetting. Ah, boy. She is fit to be regarded as that, pointed out to that, until he decides... To repent of his arrogant deviances and heresies and perversions of scripture and that's where I will say well that is you actually you are actually twisting all the scripture according to your own stupid theology you know what I'm talking about for example like you know uh, the flood and also for example like idolizing the Bible that kind of heresy all right I mean even God made it very clear that he's going to put the word the words in the hearts of saints yet you think that the bible is the word of god okay as i have said the bible contains the word of god however the what the word of god is not the bible the word of god is actually residing in heaven right next to god the word of god doesn't is not limited in paper ink paper and ink or nor in any kind of tablets of stone. All right, Josh? Stand with it. Much like I will stand with the state of Andy Cap or some of these other trash <clears throat> clowns. So, well, trash clown is you. Trash clowns. Trash clowns. I'm going to work on some of these other uh, different uh, added in smokyisms. <laughs> Sid, he is actually watching my video. I told him that he is quite uncreative, even his insults. <laughs> That's why he said he's going to work on his insults. <laughs> hey, Josh. See, this is how I know that you are quite afraid of me and you fear me and how I live rent free in your spit little mind. This is how I know. In regards, I've actually had a few that pop up in my brain from old school. Might start peppering them back in here and there. Yeah, they have to rotate. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, Basement. That is true. I guess this he's going away. This Basement guy is just another ridiculous retard, isn't he? <laughs> I'm borrowing your, I'm borrowing your terminologies. Aren't, aren't you proud of me, Smokey? I mean, you should be very proud of like uh, the words that I use. See, here's the thing. I don't repay evil with evil. However, I make exceptions for guys like you. You understand, Josh? Because, I mean, I won't be able to give you the same medicine because you, the level of your insults is just, just far uh, superseding, far going ahead of, you know, whatever that insult that I got to throw, throw at you. But I'll, I'll try to imitate you. I'll try to, like, give you the same medicine. But I, I noticed that, like, even, even tiny little medicine, I noticed that you are not able to take your own medicine. I, I, I don't know. I mean, if you think that you are able to uh, insult other people, then you should be able to also take other insults, you know? Which, again, kind of tells me uh, why you are so afraid of me and why you have, like, blocked all my accounts. Hmm? 
Uh, what a oh, which reminds me that uh, you have actually put your comment section as uh, pending approval. You know that that also shows. You know that also shows how cowardly that you are. You, you're a coward, man. You cannot even take other people's criticism. Yet you think that you can blather all kind of crap. Hey, man. That's why I. I see you as just nothing but an entertainment. Disgusting piece of trash. What an absolute, complete and utter disgusting, low life, subhuman piece of trash. What a time <laughs> traveler is. Good lord. This guy has oh, nothing but you trash. Are just absolute human garbage. And you need to repent or else you're. Well, uh, garbage is you, and trash, trash is you, Josh. going to be the exact human garbage. Trashy Joshy. You stop perverting scripture, stop validating Satanists. Stop playing the game of your... Idiot. Well, I don't understand why you are... See, even Satan, sometimes he has some kind of uh, reasons why he would accuse sons of God. But for you, you are dumber than Satan. You just accuse people without any reason or cause. All you do is that you accuse people based on your stupid presumptions or assumptions, you know, and straw man at that right so like when you for example when you are the one idol uh, making like the bible as a as an idol you would bash other people with it you know like you're worshiping so-called the uh, golden calf and then you'll be condemning moses you know for example and saying that oh why are you not you know bowing down uh, to the golden calf kind of thing all right, so it is your problem, man. It's not their problem. It's your problem, Josh. Biotic emotions. I mean, <clears throat> you know, your big failure, Raw, was not was not that you changed your your methodology or your person. Uh, speaking of methodology, I mean, all your insults and all the crap that you're talking, they're not working. I mean, who had changed his mind? I mean, certainly, you didn't convince me. Obviously, you're not convincing Ryan. You're not actually convincing even Ryan, you know? I mean, in fact, you're making things worse. So your method is not working. You're, you should really consider to change your methodology, you know? And also, you may appeal to, like, tough love or whatever. But, you know... Why is it then you are showing so-called tough love all the time, and yet fail? Then obviously there is something wrong with you, uh, how you are approaching things. All right, maybe you should try some love. All right, maybe you should smile a little bit yourself. Okay, Josh. Um, in terms of how you conducted yourself, it's not the great tragedy. The great tragedy is you never grew. You never grew in your faith. <laughs> Um, you see, you went from being a aggressive heretical retard to being a passive heretical retard. Uh, there shouldn't be any joy or honor in that at all. Um, that's basically all you. So, can like, has he uh, provided any evidence why he's making that sort of retarded comments? For example, nothing. See, if you get rid of all his insults and all the accusation, he has nothing. I mean, he has not given any examples, nothing. You know what I'm talking about? This is why he is like fart in the air, just like his daddy Satan. You did wrong. You didn't, you didn't actually improve or grow or change or reach deeper theological truths. You just, you stayed the same moron. You stayed the same. Now give us an example, you freaking stupid moron. <laughs> Come on, Josh. What the heck, man? If you consider yourself, you are so intelligent then you should be able to actually be persuading me, you know? I mean, you have nothing but idiotic insults, right? And you are quite passionate about it, but you are continually fail to persuade. Hmm? And that mentally backwards, morally worthless piece of trash, you just stayed the same way. You didn't ever actually improve or alter any of that stuff. Um, well, I, I don't understand. I mean, if... Ra used to be like very raw, <laughs> and if Ra used to be very forefront, you know, without showing much love, and yet now he's showing love, 
then there's obviously change. I mean, you yourself saying that he changed. So how, why, why is he not, has not changed? I mean, this is why you are a retard. Because you cannot even critically think. You cannot even. You are the one saying that oh, right, Ra was like used to be this, and now he is this, and therefore he's the same. It doesn't make sense. But yet you're comfortable, confident, and arrogant inside it. It's just. Uh, That's what you are saying. And actually, you're talking about yourself, Josh. Hmm? Oh, see, there we go. See. See. So I want to just point out, let's bring this to its full circle, and we've got to end the show because I'm done with this garbage. Uh, duplicitous. Yes, I agree with you that you are what you're spewing uh, garbage. I totally agree. And I agree with Ra here saying that, you know, Josh needs Jesus, okay? Because there's no Jesus in you, nothing. I mean, all you can do is just kind of repeat some theology over and over, but there is no Jesus in you, Josh. Double speaking. Liar. Cockroach. <laughs> and did I mention that accusation? You have nothing but like accusations and name calling and insults. So you need Jesus. Satan sucking whore bag faggot of hell. <laughs> and these insults are not even creative. Same insults, man. Same thing over and over. This is, this is what Rob Time Travel is. As you just saw earlier, I didn't say you're going to hell. And now, once again, duplicitous, double-speaking, cockroach, bitch-made, fagtard is going to say, I need Jesus. Yeah, you need Jesus, man. Uh, so, like, when you do have Jesus, then you're not going to hell. And therefore, you, are, you would be wrong. You, you would be proving yourself wrong, right? So, you're the one said that Ra said, quote-unquote, you are going to hell, blah, blah, blah. When... All Ra said right here is that you need Jesus, Josh. And I know that you don't have any Jesus. Okay? So you need Jesus. So insofar as Ra and I and Pasun, the way you are going, you're going to hell. I mean, I don't know why it's so difficult to understand. Or maybe you do understand and that you are so mad <laughs> that you know that you're going to hell. You see it? You see this bastard bitch? You see him? This guy's so mad. <laughs> he doesn't say I'm going to hell, but he also says I'm not saved. <laughs> okay, so now he's uh, correcting himself. No, you are not saved, Josh. Are you kidding me? You're, you're not saved. How can uh, Satan be saved? <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> and the, the way you are acting, and the way you are, you are imitating your daddy Satan. So how can you be saved? Come on. You don't even believe in Christ. And you don't even love Christ. I mean, even Jesus said that if you love me, right? If you love me, then what is it? You will follow his commandments. But you're not able to follow his commandments. So what's the, what's, what's the commandment? It's actually love God and love others. But what you are doing is that you are loving your own and hating, hating other Christians. So obviously you are not a Christian, meaning you are not even a disciple of Christ. A disciple means, uh, at first they are called, uh, they meaning the disciples, who are called Christians, so they can use interchangeably. But you may call yourself that you are Christian, but you are not following Christ at all. And therefore you are not Christian. So... I, I, I don't understand why it is so difficult for you, Josh. Make that make sense. Well, it doesn't make sense. Because it's just whatever he wants to try to leverage at the time. Because, again, he's an extraordinarily, impressively stupid man. That happens to be both like And listen, Josh. You know, maybe, like, uh, you should work on your a little uh, vocabulary. You know, I mean... I mean, I kind of applaud you that you use words like stupid continually. But come on, man. There are many other words <laughs> other than, you know, stupid. Come on. Don't be such a moron. Okay, Josh? His emotions. Just like Bruce. <clears throat> Just like a lot of these other degenerates inside the same circle. That's another word, degenerate. I mean, you use that all the freaking time. Malfishing. 
degenerate, <laughs> retard, all kind of uncreative insults. Come on, man, it's just kind of too old for me now, you know? Emotionally worshipping, placating faggots. <laughs> that too. What do you have against so-called faggots, you know? What do you have <laughs> against bundle of sticks? I know that you will be gathered and, and be burnt, but come on, man. Why are you using that word in such a way? Do you have against, you know, homosexual people? I mean... Come on, there is a difference between homosexuals and homosex those people who practice homosexuality. Okay? Although the scripture condemns those who practice homosexuality, if you even if you are homosexual yet not practice, you know, he, he or she still can uh, go to heaven, for example. You know, he or she can still believe on Jesus. But why would you like condemn people like that and use that uh, word in such a derogatory way well i tell you what maybe because you're so quote-unquote stupid as you uh, deem others to be you are that stupid all right josh bending over backwards for satan to ram his giant heretical idiotic red cock right up their ass Man, the, the things that he says, man, is like, I mean, you know, whatever he craps out, you know, it must be coming out of his mind, right? So his mind is full of that kind of imagination. It, you see, he's, this guy is so evil down to the core. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah I'm going to finish with the vulgarity. I'm going I'm to pull out the Ezekiel Jeremiah. Oh, things. man, well, where's love, man? Because frankly, I'm disgusted by it. I'm, <laughs> I'm repulsed. I'm repulsed by people like Raw the Time Traveler. Where's love? I'm repulsed by Andy. I'm repulsed by Bill. I'm repulsed Come on, by Bruce. man. I'm repulsed by Janet Gutteridge. I'm repulsed by Cheryl, uh. by Daniel, by all these supposed claimants of Christianity that then demonstrate and hold to... Isn't it interesting how he thinks that he is God, judging all these people, you know? Uh... Yeah, well, you know, all these people who whom he's mentioning, they should feel honored, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this satanic bastard is, like, you know, pointing out all these people. You know, they should be actually feel honored, because it will be, like, totally opposite to what he's saying. <laughs> Nothing but. <laughs> they will absorb any heresy. This guy's such a demons. butthurt. Any stupid doctrine, any half-baked idea, and push it forward as if it's some sort of actual <sighs> doctrine to be valued. Yeah, again, you don't get saved by certain doctrines of man, Josh. And the fact that you are condemning people with your little doctrine that you have gathered on YouTube, that doesn't mean that you are a Christian, Josh. Ridiculous. <clears throat> God bless you guys. I hope you have yourselves a very, very pleasant day. <sighs> Sleep well. May the peace of Christ uh, be with going all away. the true saints out there. Hopefully we will see you tomorrow. That's funny because like we have a whole bunch of left here. Oh, we'll continue to listen. Or at least in the morning with the coffee and comments and have a little hang out. I hope you guys will join us for that. Uh, please be well. Please sleep well. And please be safe. And Smokey Saint is signing out. Oh. Let's see if it actually going away, or he will be just coming back like a little uh, effeminate biatch. <laughs> I bet, I bet he see he's oh coming back. Oh my god! <laughs> he comes back with because Ross said yes. <laughs> this guy is so effeminate. That sounds like snake. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna wait for it. Here, let's do this. For a minute. Uh, yeah, 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 this boy. guy's comedian. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. <laughs> All right, bitch made. I'll wait for you. Oh, he's waiting. Hold on. I'll All wait right. for you, faggot. Let's get rid of all this music. Right. Let's go. I'll wait for you. Skip to when he comes back. Let's go. Oh, the on. backstage. On. There you go. <clears throat> there you go.
There. Okay. He's, he's oh, you're going to make me wait all night? You can't wait one minute? Sorry, man. What's up, Smokey? Yeah, what's up with you? Well, it's interesting because, you know, Ra was in, in backstage, and Josh is the one who didn't recognize, right, that he was there. But, you know, rather than him apologizing for not, you know, putting on the stage and keeping him on the backstage, you know, he thinks he's so right to insult Ra, you know? You know what I'm saying? Maybe there is some kind of misunderstanding. Anyway, whatever. Oh, just talking to you, brother. I was trying you know, to catch why, up. Why couldn't you join earlier? Uh, I was over in Bruce's stream listening to that. No, I mean, why couldn't you, like, the last ten times? You know what? Like, even this right here is so effeminate, you know? It's so effeminate. So what if he's joining? I mean, maybe he wants to join now. And just like what Ra is saying, he was in other stream or whatever. You know, I mean, what? why is that so important anyway? It was like for a while you were listening, just click on the link at that moment. Why did you have to catch up to the entirety of the stream? I was trying to hear everything that you said. Well, why couldn't you it, just click on the link it, when I said I wanted you to click on the link and come in the stream? And then we'll <laughs> this guy's so effeminate. In the moment of okay, well, I'm here. I'm here. I'm in the present. Sorry. Dude... <laughs> Okay, like you, yeah, I don't know. Like, are you thinking like being cute with this whole like time trip? Let me just borrow uh, Josh's vocabulary, man. This Josh guy is so bitch made, man. It's incredible. Do you have, like, crap, or do you think you're like actually being serious? Like, I don't no, know. Where, where that? No, where that came from? I was in uh, somebody else's stream a while back, and you know how you can change your name once you show up. Uh huh. Uh, I did that jokingly and somebody in there uh, said hey traveler and I like that because I, I thought about it and we all are kind of like time travelers you know what I mean oh my god so I changed my YouTube name I'm I'm raw 5069 dude always have been yeah I saw that before yeah I saw that before yeah all right <clears throat> Okay. So, like, here's the thing, right? Josh is barely 40, as he says, right? Raz, I know he's almost 60. So, right there, they're like 20 years apart. But maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just Eastern thing. Maybe, like, in America, it's not, it means nothing. But this Josh guy, he has no respect, man. No respect whatsoever for not only people who are younger, but also like people who are a lot older, older than Josh. You know, I'm not talking about elders in, in the church, okay? I'm talking about person like Ra who is older than him. But this, so even, even that fact alone kind of tells me what kind of uh, ill uh, characteristic uh, person, ill person this Josh guy is really. The only Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I, I was about to ask you to, to defend your hypocrisy, but if you have something no. else... To well, I wanted to go back to the whole beginning where we messed up the first time. Which we was got right. off on the on the wrong foot. Well, yeah, well, you, you were, were going right. in... Well, yeah, you were going into a bunch of atheist <laughs> channels and talking shit about me instead of coming... Well, not, not just... Yes. Well, let's say, like, Ra was doing that. So what? Hmm? I mean, what does that got to do with you, uh, Josh? It's not. It's none of your business, actually, right? And if it's going to make you business, then actually you're going to have to address what Ra was saying, not personally attacking him. See, just because you attack someone personally doesn't mean that you are, uh, you know, what you're saying is correct. So I hope that you guys right now Ra is here. Uh, I hope that you guys are talking about it and. It, uh, and we'll actually address that. And un unfortunately for me, because you have blocked me and blocked all my channels and StreamYard, you know, I cannot have a conversation with you, obviously. And when I go in there with other device that you didn't and you weren't able to block, you probably have blocked now. <laughs> the, uh, 
you know, and then when I do go there, you would just lower my voice, right? Lower the uh, audio. Well, what's the point of point in that? And only telling me that you are just scared of me, afraid of me, you know? Spineless and cowardly and stupid, yeah. Well, that's what you are, Josh. Well, one atheist channel, but mostly I was talking about you and uh, some of my friends' channels, and apparently you got wind of that, so. That too, sure. And you you were right. I shouldn't have done that. Well, actually, no, you should have. And I'm going to actually continually, uh, you know, talk. we'll be talking about you at least. Uh, you, you can't guarantee that from me, Josh. One uh, reason being is that you would think that you can talk about me and then expect that I wouldn't respond. You see, I don't stand for disgenuine, ingenuine person like you or lying bastard like you. I actually uh, point that out and expose a little crap like you, Josh. You know, I should have come to you in private and tried to talk to you. Well, private or public, I don't really care as long as you actually well, okay. can. You know. Okay. Okay. Well, it does say that you would actually uh, need to uh, approach uh, that person privately first, and then if he's not going to hear you, then you take it up to church. And all these are, by the way, privately. And um, the fact that you are just blurting things out on public, right? Um, well, I guess that. Uh, uh, that's your prerogative, but, you know, hey, if that's the case, then you're going to have to respect me, too, uh, when I do stuff like this. Okay. Well, you know, let me, I, mean, let me... I, don't, I don't split hairs over that minutia garbage where people, oh, okay. you didn't come to me. Well, you are the one who is asking. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Josh, this is how stupid you are, okay? You are the one asking why, uh, wait, uh, why uh, Ra wasn't joining you earlier, okay? And when he's now like giving you the answer, you're like, oh, I don't care about those kind of minute things. Man, there's something wrong with your brain, Josh. Man, you gotta cut down on your math or something. In private, no, I don't care about that. No, no, at least come to me. Don't, don't be a bitch. Come well, to me. At least I'm here. So right. my my only beef was, is how you were talking to people and your your Big method surprise. i thought i thought it was a little over the top in what way so, well no, just like, like, in, like, give me an in, example of like what way in like, the same ways that everyone else has been saying Smokey. you remind so, me a, a lot of myself in the past no 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 brother ra no i mean i know i've known you quite a long time and you are nothing like Smokey. okay all you all you said probably that is like so uh, uh, outrageous at the time would be like, you know, go to hell, uh, stuff like that, you know. But no, you never had, you know, uh, like Josh, what Josh saying, how in, he's insulting other people. No, nothing like that, actually. Well, course, well, was, yeah, I mean, maybe, at maybe it's... <laughs> Maybe in a methodology way, but certainly not in intelligence or theological competency. No, I never claimed to be of your caliber uh, of intelligence or education. <laughs> well, but, but you, you implicitly almost do when you, when you levy your judgments. Can any intelligent people be more creative and insulting? I'm sure he can, but if he claims that he is quite intelligent, he wouldn't need any insults. You know what I'm saying? So even just for that, you know, I can see how little mind Josh is possessing. And and the fact that Josh is not one bit intelligent whatsoever. Criticisms and condescension towards me. You're, you're claiming well, to have a, a stronger, higher theological positioning than I myself Biblically have. speaking, probably, yeah. Okay. But, well, that's, see, that's, that's that's just, but that's just due to... You know, so let me ask you something. So, uh, <laughs> so just like for instance, like like the prophet uh, Jeremiah, just just as an example, or maybe even Ezekiel. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is he comparing himself to prophets, especially like prophets in the Old Testament? I mean, is he implying that he is a prophet? 
Oh my god. Man, talk about considered idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Um, when they're referring <laughs> to the uh, Jewish people who are serving the other gods, and he says that they are whores um, selling themselves out. Oh my um, god. Engaging in so, so he is actually comparing himself to prophets. Listen, Josh, first of all, you are not a prophet at all, okay? Secondly, those prophets you are pointing out, they, don't, they, have, they didn't do that all freaking day. <laughs> they didn't do that on Saturday night. Do you understand? I mean, look at the writings of Isaiah. Was, he, was it full of insults? No, man. <laughs> So I hope that you're not even comparing yourself as a prophet, you know, when they didn't even do that kind of uh, things that you are doing every freaking day, you know. Come on, man. Vacation and their stupid yeah. slack skanks of the spirit who are abandoning their first love to chase after strange flesh. Um, when the well, obviously, then you know maybe you should mention like once a week. <laughs> <laughs> or once a month, maybe. You know what I'm saying? And the, uh, I mean, it's just ridiculous how you want to compare yourself to all these prophets and justify yourself with all these insults when there is nothing comparable to those prophets. I mean, think about it. You know, were they insulting other people all the time? Hmm? And also, those people who, whom you are insulting, were they like those uh, Jewish people at that time? No, of course not. So your comparison is quite faulty, man. <sighs> oh, talk about just stupid eologics. It's incredible, this guy. The Bible uses this type of terminology to describe uh, spiritual deviancy. Um, are you condemning those statements in the scripture? Um, no. No, okay, so you're not. So, are you saying that you are the scripture then? <laughs> you know, I mean, nobody has condemned anything so far. Ra is simply pointing out your stupid, idiotic, you know, uh, insults, okay, and condemnations towards us people, towards Christians, which is quite different than what was going on during that time. Okay, so. When you actually compare yourself to these prophets, you gotta ha actually have enough leverage. You know, uh, have you written that sort of like books, or have you made any kind of pro uh, uh, prophecies, or have you actually are you in such a position where you could give advices to different nation? I mean, I mean, are you in such position? Of course not. So, it doesn't matter how much uh, you put yourself up there and being so considered that you think that you are some sort of prophet. No, you are nothing. You are, I told you, you are a fart in the air. So, your comparison uh, and therefore justifying yourself is not persuading at all. So, it was okay for the prophets, at least, you would say, to use that type of language uh, to describe people as being whores, sluts, skanks. They didn't use it all the time, first of all, right? You're not, pro you're not a prophet, and you're not in such uh, high places as they were. You're, not, you're nothing. You're just a, a real estate guy who lost his uh, license, even. Okay, you're a stupid, jobless idiot. <laughs> I mean, so I don't understand how you could even compare yourself to all these prophets, man. You didn't make any. You didn't make any prophecies. <laughs> I mean, what is wrong with you, man? I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you another hint. You are not those prophets. You are just like your daddy Satan. I can compare you. To Satan, man, you are just like that. Your daddy, Satan. Uh, even even people who are lusting after uh, people uh, who have the members of donkeys and the issuances of horses. Ew. Oh uh, man, these things that he imagines. Oh my God, 
oh. talking about their big raging <laughs> donkey dicks that the stupid oh, whores. Man, are. this guy's an idiot, man. <laughs> oh my lord. I mean, oh, sickening. This guy. Israel are lusting after, um, wanting to be drowning in <sighs> horse cum. Uh, do you think that that's the type of imagery that might be a little over the top? Like, if I was to say that, to say, for instance, Sister Sunshine, just, just as an anecdotal example, or Janet Dutridge, it doesn't really matter, any of them. Hey, uh, you're a stupid... Uh, so you cannot, and you shouldn't say it, because you're not a prophet, Josh. All right? You're not a prophet. You never, you haven't even made one prophecy. Prophecy. I mean, are you in some sort of, like... Uh, are you holding? Are those government officials not taking you seriously or what you got to say? Are you speaking to a nation? I mean, I, I don't understand. I mean, you're psychopathic uh, and that sort of, um, oh, man, it's just, you're so much into yourself. You love yourself so much. I mean, I, I, it's just incredible how you put yourself as, as a prophet when you are not, and therefore justifying all your insults against other people. Doesn't make sense, Josh. Idiot, skank, whore of hell, selling yourself out. Listen, if you want to uh, compare yourself in such, to such people, be like those people, all right? But you are not such people. So you are wrong at this to Again. deviant fleshly doctrines. You would consider my statement there to be over the top, correct? Yeah. Okay. But the prophets pointing to you are not Jews a that prophet. The same thing, uh, selling out their sensibilities and spiritual positioning to chase after strange gods and strange doctrines, uh, calling them whores, uh, that was also wrong? Not at the time, no. no <laughs> okay, so... Ever. I, don't think I think Ra is a little too kind, uh, saying that Josh is not a prophet. <laughs> he never made any prophecy. He's not holding any governmental position. He's not talking to the people. <sighs> um, Josh, wake the heck up, man. You're nobody. I don't think it's ever right, wrong. So, so, it's, so it's clearly not the words that are the problem. So if it's not the words that are the problem, so what is the actual issue then? Because apparently I'm just using words and vernacular of a biblical type. Uh, First of all, no, you are not using such uh, vocabulary or vernacular as you put it. Secondly, you are not a prophet. Used man. to describe people of this particular ilk. Uh, this is a biblical definition of what these people are. Use the Bible <laughs> Come up with the vernacular, so I'm trying to help this guy's so considered man. Me through Excuse me. how I come to any type of reasonable argument from you and your condescension that you're coming from any solid ground at all, um, as opposed to just emotional angst. You know, you don't like your friends being no, I think it's more than emotional scum that they are. Um, well, 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 yeah. Thicky, Thicky is, is a Satanist, implicit. <laughs> Oh, boy. There you go. So, like, the, the God has spoken. <laughs> Josh has spoken. So, I must be a Satanist. Man, this guy is such an idiot. It's incredible. Uh, by by okay. far. He, okay, he but... Gives, he gives let me, the sovereignty... Let me, let me jump in the pool. With you. Sure. What, what if you're wrong about some of these people? I could be, but the problem is I don't judge it based upon absoluteness. And this is maybe where you're philosophically uh, what, inapt in this regard. What are you judging? Judging by absolute. Well, you are not supposed to by, uh, do that, first of all. Okay? And nobody's absolute. So what you just said is just vain. It's nothing. Uh, uh, probabilities. We all judge things based okay. upon... Well, I could have misjudged. Okay, so that is saying that he's judging people um, based on his presumptions. Jew, too. Actually, there's not a single thing out there that we don't judge based upon probabilities because absolute knowledge is not something we're able to have inside our finances. Well, let's Duh. talk about that. What do we have to judge accordingly? We have the scripture and the instructions therein. Um, right. That and, is the baseline. That we have and we have what comes out of a person's mouth, right? 
No, that's... Let's make this very clear what the scripture is. The scripture is good for teaching, doctrine, and instructing, uh, and also... I'm not talking about the doctrines of men. I'm talking about the teachings in the Bible, in the scripture, and reproving other people, all right? The scripture is God-breathed. Yes, we all agree. But that doesn't mean that is so-called the word of God. All right? Because obviously, even the book has been uh, put together by a whole bunch of people. Okay? If I were to borrow your logic saying that the Bible is the word of God, then if and when the Bible didn't exist or will not exist, when that happens, then the Word of God goes kaput as well, all right? I mean, are you saying that uh, there was no Word of God before the Bible? Are you going to say that there will be no Word of God after the, the Word is gone? You know? So, even stuff like that, even, that's the basic, basic things, Josh, and... Because you idolize the Bible, and because you don't even know the difference between the Bible and the Word of God, you are actually making unrighteous judgment and calling me as some sort of Satanist. Okay? So, not only you are accusing unrighteously, but also you're accusing me of being a Satanist based on your... Uh, ignorance, for example. And I've noticed this a lot. I mean, it's usually the case from little minds like you, okay? You fabricate all kinds of stupid presumptions, right? And therefore, you render yourself uh, certain uh, unrighteous judgments, just like how you have done with Ra. Ra didn't say to you to go to hell, right? But because Ra said, that you're not a Christian, you therefore, uh, you know, accusing Ra, saying that, you know, go to hell. All right? It's, it's stuff like that. So when you are the one who didn't realize certain things, when you are the one idolizing the book, when you are the one actually doing all kind of idiotic, oh, I'm sorry, stupid things, just like how you say, you know, you are putting all kind of accusations and blames to other people. I mean, does it make sense to you, Josh? It doesn't make sense to me, you know? Especially when Christ said not to judge people, you know? Not to judge people... Well, we are to uh, judge righteously, but you are not righteous, okay? Righteous, uh, righteously meaning according to Christ. Do you understand? He didn't... Uh, say that to judge um, according to your own standard point of view. It, it, when we judge, we are to judge uh, righteously, not self-righteously. But you, that's what you are doing, Josh. You are judging other people based on your own straw man and presumptions. That's not in relation to what we're using to discern truth. That, that doesn't matter. We're talking about what the scripture tells yeah, us about doctrine, yeah, it's, it doctrine is, it is, and Christian life. It is suggested um, to be an indicator, though, right? What is? Out of, the, out of, the, out of the mouth, abundance, yeah, out of the, the heart, right. what is it? mouth abundance of the heart, or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, if I've misjudged you, I apologize. Publicly. Well, in, in order to levy but, righteous judgment, it has to be connected via argumentation. And now, since... No, righteous judgment is according to Christ. Okay? Not by some argumentation. Do you understand that, Josh? Do you not know the difference? Righteous means Christ. Simple as that. Okay? Righteous doesn't mean by argumentation. So I've just pointed out that your argumentation is both stupid and evil. Um, yeah. I'm waiting for you to either A, provide a subsequent... And therefore, your argumentation is stupid and evil. All right? Anyone can say that, Josh justification for the position you originally held um, or choke on your crow nice hot steamed up and served to you ready for you to all these insults are useless and not convincing whatsoever Josh choke down and realize that you did I make a the right stupid, to be wrong. idiotic error 
um, based upon theological malfeasance. And what a like, there is malfeasance. I mean, you're not off. You're not an office officer, okay? Malfeasance that's used by of, officials, but you are nothing. <laughs> so you're even using the word so wrongly. Anyway, uh, righteous judgment doesn't mean self righteous judgment, okay? So therefore, when you are making judgment, you are nothing but self-righteous. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand why it's so difficult okay, so for you. If you want to take that position, that's fine. I'd like to move on to the thick shade situation. If we're okay, done. go ahead. Go. <laughs> I tell you guys, I live twenty-four-seven in his little brain, rent-free. <laughs> it's just incredible. Point. Okay, so Thicky, you have... Um... Hey, Josh, if you want to talk about me or talk about certain things, then you should actually have enough courage to unblock me and have fair, fair uh, dialogue, you know, not where you uh, block or not where you mute audio and things like that, okay? And this is where I want to address the hypocrisy of the situation. Yeah, I love Sam. He's a good guy. Sure. Okay, whatever. Uh, I think he's a detestable uh, pile of actual human shit. <laughs> Thank you. It, come, it means a lot to me coming from you. Because I know you are nothing but a little kid of Satan. And when, when a little kid of Satan tells me about uh, such things, I feel so honored. It's such, an, it's such a, uh, a reward. Uh, award. You know what I'm saying? It's an award for me. It, it just throw out that kind of insults and that kind of persecutions. It's such a award for me. And I know that for a fact. Because you are nothing but a little kid of Satan. But that's okay. To each their own. Opinions are opinions. Now my opinions, I would argue, are based upon chain of logical evidence and, and argumentation. Well, I've uh, known... For, for now, if your argument is based on, let's say, uh, wrong, uh, you know, wrong information, all right? Or if your argument is based on something kind of wrong uh, conclusion, right? In other words, if your premise is wrong, then uh, it's obvious that your conclusion will be wrong, right? Uh, it, it's very simple, basic logic, Josh. But what I notice from you is that you continually have this faulty premise, and then therefore you, uh, you know, generate faulty conclusion. And you think that is so righteous? Damn, <laughs> for over ten years. So well, but... well, that's not an argument. That's not because because you're a trash. Well. And of course, it is also can be an argument, all right? I mean, like for example, you hardly know me, Josh, yet you think that you can judge me unrighteously. It, it, that, that wouldn't make sense at all, would it? It's so I don't care about your truth. trash man's opinion about another trash man. What I need is arguments, okay? Well, you know, it seems like you are spending awfully, awfully a lot, if not every day, a lot of time on trash man. I mean, you must be like loving trash. I need evidence. <laughs> I need actual things that justify an opinion, not just an opinion. Itself. Again, those evidence is, should be based on true things, not faulty things. You know, if those evidence, if the premise is wrong, the conclusion will be wrong. Self, especially an opinion from a mentally vacuous, dumb old burnout. I need something a little more that I can grab onto as something tangible, okay? So for instance, let me give you something tangible, an example of what I mean. So when Thicky says... Listen, Josh, I don't know why you could keep addressing me as Thicky. Only my friends call me, get to call me Thicky, okay? But you're not my friend, okay? I'm, I mean, I hope that you can get that, Josh. Even my friends wouldn't call me Thicky, you know? They will just probably call me thick, <laughs> but they will not call me thicky. <laughs> so please, you got to refrain yourself calling me names, you know, because whenever I see you calling me that kind of names, 
it tells me it gives you it gives me more confidence it gives me more energy knowing that you fear me okay you have to resort to such name calling to make yourself uh, uh, I don't know I don't understand why you're doing that maybe you're trying to make certain point valid but that doesn't that's, that's not going to help you in any way do you understand that Josh that Satan has sovereignty over the Word of God no Satan does not have so uh, sovereignty over the Word of God see right there you have wrong information okay I never said that I never said that Satan Satan have has any kind of sovereignty over the Word of God so it's because you have that kind of wrong information and because of that kind of faulty premise I bet you you will come to wrong conclusion saying that I am some sort of Satanist see you see what I'm saying probably not um, this is Satanism pure and simple to attribute well, okay well I'll tell you what okay well, I actually have screenshots um, let me see it, man. You. Let me see. That has Thicky validating that Satan changed scripture. Now, no, I never validated uh, Satan's uh, changing the scripture, so to say. And also, there is a difference between the scripture and the words of God, as I have said earlier. The Bible contains the word of God. Okay. However, the word of God is not limited in the Bible. I mean, I don't know why it's so difficult for you, Josh. No, I know what he said. Oh, okay, you do. Oh, okay, so yeah. I don't need to pull the yeah. screenshot. Okay, this is what I said. If the Bible were to be changed, then who would change it? Okay? Now, first of all, I'm not saying that the Bible is changed. I have already clarified that when I said such thing, I'm talking about in terms of, uh, like, the... Uh, people like me observing certain uh, verses in the Bible are different than when I uh, than I remember as right and I have gone to explain about different ram like for example different people uh, like me people from different ram may remember different things in the Bible like for example I remember wineskin instead of the bottles it says right now in KJV and trust me I only read KJV it being a uh, a foreigner I like to uh, when I uh, read uh, the Bible in English I, I would like to read it in KJV only like I would use NIV like even today uh, uh, to compare or to make you understand because you know you read NIV right Josh so doesn't mean that I read NIV so when I read the Bible in English I read KJV only so I remember like you know wine skin but now it's bottles I remember the lion but now it says the wolf I remember uh, like um, uh, Mas uh, Messiah with a with an with an H at the end but doesn't have uh, H when when it says Messiah uh, but there are numerous things like that and I explain to you well not to you but to other people on this channel as well that you know the reason being maybe is that uh, we remember certain things differently because we are of other realm of course, in this realm, in this world, nothing has changed. You know, it's always been the bottles, for example. It's always been the, the wolf, right? But for me and, and many other people who actually can observe the quantum effect, remember that as wineskin or the lion because we are of different realm. We remember reading that as... Uh, wine skin in that ram I don't know what happened to that I don't know how I got here right but that's what basically what we are saying and also the second point is that if the Bible as you uh, uh, 
uh, say, if the Bible were to be changed, right, then who would change it? If not Satan, then are you, going, are you saying that God changed it? Hmm? I mean, it doesn't even make sense, does it, Josh? So if Bible were to be changed, then obviously that's, that would be Satan. Unless you, call, you consider your daddy Satan as God, which I'm, I'm seeing constantly from you, Josh. Okay, so let's yeah. follow through some basic logic, and I do mean basic logic, which I think, I don't know why, Rob, there might be something wrong with your brain. It seems like basic... No, there's something wrong with your brain. You are the one appealing to your stupid, ignorant, uh, you know, things. You are the one actually appealing to your faulty premises. You are the one trying to persuade other people with stupid insults. I mean, I don't understand why you cannot even see that. You know, you are the one saying the flood was local. <laughs> I, I, I mean, come on, Josh. I, I, I mean, I, I understand that you, you are that stupid, unintelligent, and that's why you cannot see your own flaw. But come on, it's just too much, man. The abstracts completely elude you. I'll try to walk your, your hand through this one. Uh, but I'm not going to have a lot of patience to probably do it more than once. So please try to pay attention, okay? So if Thicke says that Satan changed... Come on, Josh. Let's stop calling people names, all right? At least I'm addressing you as your name. You can call me Sam, you know? I mean, well, I don't know why you want to, like, call me, like, you know, Thicke and, and stuff like that. Okay? Please. It's the Bible. No, I never, you know, I never said that Satan change the Bible, okay? If I said that, I probably said, like, if Satan were to be changed, if the Bible were to be changed, then Satan changed the Bible. That's what probably what I, was, uh, what I meant and what I said, all right? It doesn't mean then, you know, you can go on with that sort of things and therefore con uh, conclude your faulty conclusion. And also, let's say I said it, Right? If Satan didn't change it, then who changed it? Are you saying God changed it? Hmm? I mean, it doesn't make sense, does it? So, only one, uh, if the Bible were to be changed, it's, after all, since it's, you know, uh, there are many different versions, there are many uh, different scholars, and throughout the history, there have been also many changes. So, if Bible were to be changed, then who will change it? After all, this is like black and white. It's a physical thing, right? Are you, are you saying that God changing it? And you are stupid. You're, you're stupid in your logic. Even if I said that or even if I didn't say it. Do you understand? The Bible is, as we recognize it, God breathed. God inspired. <laughs> Do you even know what God inspired means? God inspires some people, and those people write, right? And another a group of people gather all those writings and make it into 66 books, all right? I mean, I don't understand how you wouldn't get this. So therefore, the Bible contains the words of God, okay? However, the word of God is not limited in the Bible. Do you get that? In other words, let's say uh, the physical means of the Bible. I mean, let's say the book is destroyed or gone or it went along with the fervent heat, right? That doesn't mean that the Word of God is uh, going to be gone. Likewise, just because the Bible didn't exist before uh, anything was written, that doesn't mean that the Word of God didn't exist. You get that, Josh? Probably not. <laughs> okay. Uh, as it says in uh, Second Timothy, all of it is God breathed and profitable for doctrine and reproof and correction and all of this. Uh, right. That's what the Scripture is for. However, you are idolizing it, saying that that is the Word of God. All right? If the Bible contains such uh, words of God so that they are good for you know, teaching, instruction, and reproving. <laughs> However, if you 
uh, make that as a golden calf, you're going to idolize what you're doing. And then based on such faulty premise, you're going to therefore uh, conclude in, in, a, in, a, in a faulty manner. Good jazz for us, okay? So Thicky says that's... Come on, Josh. I mean, I don't know why you would keep calling me Thicky, you know? I mean, I don't understand that, really. And please note that I'm pausing every time when you say Thicky. It's not because I mind. <laughs> it's because I want to enunciate how much that I live rent free in your mind to the point that, you know, you got to, like... Um, you know, call me names and stuff. Okay? And that's not any sign of any intelligent person, Josh. All right? I hope that you realize that. The more you uh, resort to such name-calling and insulting, actually proving, proving to everyone, not just me, proving to everyone that you are quite unintelligent. Josh, you stupid bastard. (laughs) <laughs> Satan changed certain things. Okay, let's say Satan changed the certain things. Let's say you don't even know what quantum means. You don't even know what quantum effect means, all right? I mean, I already explained that certain people like me actually can observe and voice about those differences, okay? But let's forget about that. Let's say you don't even understand that. Okay, so if I were to say that Satan changed the Bible, right, then you disagree with it because somehow one way or the other you think that Bible cannot be changed and it shouldn't be changed because, quote unquote, you believe that's like actual uh, word of God, right, when it contains the words of God. And I explain to you why. Just because you are uh, having that kind of faulty premise, then you disagree with it, then who is changing it? If the Bible were to be changed, then who's changing it? God is not the one changing it, right? God wouldn't be the one who would be changing the Bible. Right, Josh? You know, and if there are any kind of changes, uh, many different denominations have different versions of the Bible, then you disagree with it, then are you also saying that God is doing that, Josh? So the fact that, the very fact that you don't understand what the Word of God, and the very fact that you don't even know the difference between the Word of God and the Bible, and therefore, based on that sort of, uh, you know, ignorance, and you appeal to such ignorance, and therefore you accuse me of being a Satanist. Wow, how intelligent you are, Josh. You are so intelligent. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> Inside the scripture. <laughs> Satan had more power oh over God. the preservation of the word of God than God himself. See, he's just confused. Again, he thinks that the Bible is the word of God. No, Bible contains the Word of God. Do you, do you not understand the difference? I mean, if you keep saying the Bible is the Word of God, then you are saying that the Word of God didn't exist before the Bible. And you are saying that the Word of God is going to disappear when the Bible disappears as physical means. You know? I mean, don't you see your, your logic, your own your logic? Probably not, because why? <laughs> Because you are unintelligent. All right? You have no wisdom. See, one of the fruit of the Spirit is actually wisdom. All right? Actually, a gift, I'm sorry, gift of the Spirit. But you have no gift of Spirit because you have no Holy Ghost, Josh. Now, that is a bombastic claim to make. No, that's not the claim that I made. That's the claim that you make. You're making that claim saying that I made that claim when I didn't. And even, let's say, I did so, you were defeated because you are now saying that God is the one changing the Bible. 
you are now saying that there was no word of God before the Bible or even after the Bible goes, goes away. Do you understand that, Josh? You are the one who is dumb and intelligent. And, and just, well, I never said I agreed with him. Well, no, agreement is irrelevant to this at this point. Agreement is like, well, I disagree with him, but I don't think he's lost. That's an irrelevant statement in the context of what's happening. So what Ra is saying is that he's not agreeing with your uh, interpretation, your understanding. Ra is not agreeing with your understanding. As I have said, the Bible contains the Word of God. However, the Word of God is not the Bible. And I've given you examples why. So, like, if you don't remember, then I'll mention that again to you. <laughs> the Word of God still existed before the Bible. The Word of God will forevermore be existing uh, even after the physical mean has disappeared. All right, Josh? What's going on? He no, either is very relevant. Well, he either because attributes God as being God, or he attributes not God being God. Say, you are considering the Bible as God. What the heck? You know, the Bible is not God, Josh. It's a true dichotomy. Are, are you saying the word of... Uh, are you saying... I mean, the, the scripture says the word became flesh. The word made flesh. Are you saying the Bible made flesh? <laughs> are you saying the Bible made flesh? Oh. And if he elevates Satan yeah, yeah, stupid, to, a, to a sovereign of... No, I'm not elevating Satan. You are the one doing that. Okay? You are elevating Satan by actually falsely representing me. Hmm? Uh, based on your ignorance. Because you do not even know the difference between the Word of God and the Bible. So, that's what I'm saying. When you have such false uh, premises... You're going to end up with false conclusion. And let's say you end up with false conclusion. And in fact, you did. Rather than actually coming directly to me and asking me or discussing about it and talking about it and, and trying to get down to the bottom of, of it, you just completely block me, mute me, you know, that sort of things. You know, I mean, that's not right, is it? That is only stupid people like you, dude. Authority above God, which is exactly what he's doing, saying Satan has more power over the preservation or the changing of God's word than God himself. Well, as I have said, that, um, you know, I don't consider the word of God only limited in the Bible. Okay? So, and that's not, and that's not exactly what I'm saying, is it? No. And I've, I'm not going to say it again. Uh, for your idiotic mind, uh, if you cannot even know the difference between the Word of God and the Bible, then it's not my problem. It's your problem. Okay? Now, the next problem is that not only you are unintelligent to understand it, your problem is that based on that such uh, false premise, you are basing, you are actually uh, rendering false conclusion and thereby falsely accusing like what you are doing. Just like your daddy Satan. Now, that is stating, that is putting Satan in a state of supremacy over God. No, well, that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what you are doing, okay? And I explained to you why before. So Now, I don't understand how you can possibly not follow that logic. It's so simple. It's not so simple because, you know, uh, well, it is simple. But the problem is, is that you had that false premise, you know, corrupt premise. You have wrong information. And based on such wrong information, you are drawing a wrong conclusion. And rather than actually trying to communicate about it, you just block all, my, all the communication. And you want to uh, resort to such insults and name calling. And that's what you've been doing, Josh. And that's not how Christians operate. Only Satanists like you would operate. Everyone in this entire community has gotten it, seemingly except well, you. No, not really. You're the one who hasn't gotten it. So what that's is the, the difference? That's the big difference between me and you. And that's the thing that, you know, I needed to be corrected on as well. I'm not the I, judge. I, well, no, I'm but you were the, judging me. 
Well, you were judging me and have been judging me up to this very yes. point. You say yeah. I don't need I, I, I need Jesus because yeah. well clearly I don't have Jesus. Well, when you when Ross says that you need Jesus, it's not called judging. Uh, how's that how's that even judging? You need Jesus. How's that even judging? So you are judging. Well, stupid. <laughs> you know, if I, like I said, if I'm wrong and you're in the body well, no, of no, Christ, no. Okay, okay. far be it from me to take a hammer Ra, Ra. and smash my toe. Listen to what I'm saying. You start all of this by saying, we're not God. We shouldn't judge. You have an issue right. with me judging. Right? Right. Okay? And then you judge me. No, <laughs> he didn't judge you. He made simply a statement that you need Jesus. Did he say that you are not Jesus? <laughs> Did he say that to go to hell? No, he said you need Jesus. That's not judgment, you stupid idiot. I mean, I don't understand why it's so difficult for you. Ra is observing the fact that you have no Jesus. You know, he's not accusing you saying that you don't have Jesus. He is simply saying that you need Jesus. Even if you have Jesus, you probably need Jesus more. You know? Doesn't mean that you are you don't have Jesus, but I can I can actually say and and clearly say it right now even more that you got no Jesus, man. <laughs> but you know, you know, Ra probably thinking that, oh, you need a little more Jesus. But that's not judgment. All right. Nor is he saying that you don't have Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Man, you are so unintelligent. And I'm, I'm, I'm making point over and over. You are so unintelligent. It's incredible. Do you know yeah. the definition of the word hypocrisy? <laughs> no. I don't no, know what hypocrisy. Not the way that, not the way you're using it. No. <laughs> what does what hypocrisy I, what I, mean what to I, you? <laughs> Well, it, apparently, Smokey, I don't want to get into that. Okay, I was just tempted. No, no, I, no, I need you. Man, this guy is so stupid. He's incredible. No, no, I'm not, and I need I'm not, you to tell me not, whether or not you believe you're hypocrite. I'm not going to go down. How. I'm not going to go down that road with you. Now, why oh would that? Oh my be gosh. Case, why would you not want to go down? Because that road if you if you are as you as you say if you are indeed in the body of Christ, I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> No, it's you've my, already you know, Rob, Rob, that that ship has sailed. You already judged that I'm not. Okay, so <laughs> no, I want to judge that you are not in the body of Christ, right? Ra just merely said that you need Jesus. That's not called judging, you idiot. So I'm I don't... still, I'm still. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, you no, you are convinced. You are convinced I don't no, have not. Jesus. Yes, you are. No, that... no, I am. Here, I'm raising my hand here. I am. I am convinced that you are not in Christ at all, Josh. You've expressed no, multiple me. times in side chat. Convince me that you're in Christ. No, no, no. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is my point, Rob. You are currently, as we stand, to... dude. Seriously. Yeah, listen, Josh. You even deny your own name, okay? And all your minions. Like, so afraid of saying your name, even your name. You are the one denying even your name, Josh. And I repeatedly ask you what your name is. Is that one day your name is Jay. <laughs> one day your name is Carl. You know, like Karl Marx. <laughs> Without even actually providing that you, yourself, is not Josh. But... I only find the totally opposite, you know, all your real estate license, your, you know, your, your resume, for example, and, and when you're in, in real estate with your picture and with your name, was well, always Josh. I mean, what the heck, man? So when you cannot even man up to it, I mean, I don't understand how you could talk about even hypocrisy even, you know? What is wrong with your brain? As we sit I'm, here right now I'm talking, going by, I'm going you by have the judged past. me. Okay. In the past, I said I, I came into your room and I said I love you. Retard, And listen. what was your response? You, you are well, uh, listen, Josh, you little retard. I mean, why do you think that you can judge others and call them names? And then others uh, cannot even make any kind of observation, right? Ra observed that you have no Jesus or you have little Jesus. And therefore, he's saying that you need Jesus. 
right? That's not called judgment, you, you, you freaking little idiot. Incapable of love because you are well, a see? sucking bitch man whore see? Hell. Now, these are okay. accusations. You these are things come out of, of Satan. Love because right? you cannot have love okay. unless you're connected to God. And if you're not keep connected going, to God, keep you going. can't have love. Which, by the keep way, going. is why keep your love by the way. looks a lot yeah. like enablement and validation down to the pit of hell. Much no. like what you're doing with Thicky. No. Yeah, Josh, come on, man. Stop calling people names, you know, especially me. You know, why would you call my holy name Thicky? Come on, man. You know, here's the thing. Let me just share with you um, Galatians 5, uh, 22 to 23. This is uh, about the fruit of the Spirit. I'm going to share with you with NIV that you love, all right? And then maybe I'll share the KJV version as well. In Galatians 5, 22 to 23, it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Right? The problem is that I don't see any of that. I don't see love from you. Let's say that you consider me as some kind of quote-unquote Satanist. I mean, can't you not show love towards Satanists? <laughs> you know? And Joy. I mean, where's your joy, man? Where's your smile, man? I wish you can smile sometime. You got no joy. And you got no peace. Every time is about freaking discord and contention. Where's your peace, man? Forbearance. Oh, my Lord. Talk about You are so impatient. Kindness. You are so hateful. How can you, like, you know, say that you are kind whatsoever? Goodness, oh, goodness gra gracious, you have no goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, nothing, you know. I mean, in KJV, it says faith, but, I mean, as, as Ra was asking, I mean, show me that you have Jesus. Show me that you are actually in faith, you know. Do you even know what it means? Uh, let me share the in KJV version. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Those are the fruit of the Spirit. Do you know why you don't have any of those, Josh? It's exactly because you have no Holy Ghost. I mean, it's not calculus. It's not rocket surgery as g-men would say <laughs> okay there is no holy spirit that's why you have no fruit of the spirit you have nothing but rotten rotten work of flesh okay the work of flesh as i have said earlier all those things like rage self-ambition i'm just kind of putting out there in NIV so you could understand, right? Dissensions and fractions, all those things that you are displaying, even right now, is because you have not the Holy Ghost. Because you are still in the flesh, that no matter how much you pose or pretend to be a Christian, with all Christian jargons or all these you know, theologies or all these precepts and doctrines of man, you are not able to convince, like, Ra here or me, that you are a Christian. I hope that you understand that. Oh, By letting Vicky believe these dangerous doctrines and saying that he's still okay. It's mercy and grace. What, what doctrines, man? I don't have any doctrine, you know, other than doctrine of Jesus. And also regarding the Word of God and the Bible, you are the one who is being confused between the two, you know. I mean, I tried to tell you before, but you aren't even listening. Like, for example, the Bible, including the original Hebrew Bible. And you didn't even understand what that is, like Tanakh or... You know, you don't even understand. You know, that sort of thing has existed since uh, like 1200 BC at the most. All right? And you had no idea how it came about. Are you saying that there was no Word of God uh, before that time? Hmm? Uh, like, for example, in KJV, it's in like uh, 1611, 
Are you saying that there was no word of God before 1611? You know, or any kind of like uh, uh, similar doctrines? Hmm? I mean, w- the word of God has existed since the beginning. All right, since any uh, book and paper, any uh, so-called uh, this Tanakh or even the KJV or even uh, any kind of text out there, even before the foundation of the world. And to say the Bible is the Word of God is like saying the Word of God only began to exist since the Bible. And to say it was uh, eternal, such as the Word of God, is the same as was temporal, you know, such as the physical means, would be just not true. And that's what you're saying, because you idolize the Bible, right? We know the words of God it will not perish, and that's what it says in the Scripture. However, whichever the version of the Bible, when the world perishes, the book will also perish. Just like uh, the spirit and flesh are not the same, to say uh, not what's non-physical, such as the Word of God, is the same as uh, what's physical, like actual book. That certainly will not be accurate, nor true. And that's what you're saying, Josh. You know, I mean, it seems like you don't understand what God is actually preserving. All right? God preserves the Word of God in the hearts of the saints, who in turn have been recording uh, using mediums uh, such as the uh, tablets of stone or even like ink and paper of the Bible, okay? What God does and what men do are not the same. You are saying that what men are doing is the same as what God is doing. So to say what and where God preserving is the same as what and where man preserving, and that won't be accurate nor true. It's almost blasphemous because man is not God. And I mean, I know that all these things that I'm saying to you will just kind of <laughs> fly by your mind because it's, it's not just for you. It's for other people who would be listening to this. Okay? Um, so although... God preserved the Word of God in the hearts of the true believers, like Ra or me or anyone that you attack. Not all what God has preserved have been revealed and recorded in the book, in the ink, uh, uh, black and white, for example, ink, ink and paper, or even tables of stone, which means it's not really complete, right? And what's not complete is not perfect. But we know the Word of God is perfect. And therefore, to say that the book that you worship is perfect, Word of God, would not be accurate nor true. Okay? So, here's the thing. you got to know there is none holy as the Lord. Alright? Yet, many, like you, make the Bible as holy calling it the Holy Bible. Even in presidential inauguration, they put their hands on the Bible as if it signifies authority from above. God said not to idolize, yet many have been idolizing. You know, When we know God is the only one holy, to say the Bible is holy would, again, not be accurate nor true. So, so does, it, does this mean we are not to use the scripture? No, of course not. The Bible contains, as I have been saying over and over, the Bible contains, and this is a very important word, it contains the word of God. And we are to read and keep it close, you know, to be growing perfect in Christ. Right? As the scripture said, perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works. However, we are to look 
not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. I mean, ask yourselves. Ask yourself, Josh. Will the Bible exist in heaven? Hmm? So, the very fact that you think that the Bible is the Word of God, when the Bible merely contains the Word of God, you therefore render me into some sort of idiotic uh, whatever version that you are considering. That's quite premature, like a child, you know. It, it, that's why I said that you are a kid, nothing but a kid, a little child. Uh, here's the thing, you know, I don't know about you, Josh, but Christians are to walk by sight, not by faith. That's your Christian method, isn't it? <laughs> That's what you're saying. We are to walk by sight, not by faith. But when the scriptures even it says we are to walk by faith, not by sight. Okay? Walk by faith, not by sight. We walk by the word of God that is not seen, obviously, but not by the sight, anything that is physical. No matter how much you want to consider uh, the book as the word of God. And again, I'm not saying the Bible doesn't contain the word of God. It does contain. However, when you idolize it, you will make an error uh, saying that the word of God never existed before then. I'm talking about the word of God before the Bible. I'm talking about the word of God after the Bible. But you are considering the Bible as the Word of God, and only. And you think that you can judge me based on your stupid ignorance? Give me a freaking break, man. You don't even have any faith to begin with. You don't even have that very substance of things hoped for. You don't even have any evidence of things not seen. You are only going by what you have uh, learnt what you have seen, and that's why you are regurgitating the same thing. Moreover, not only you regurgitate the same thing that you barely picked up on YouTube, you are judging me or Ra or anyone else in such manner, self-righteously. Okay, Josh? Mercy to tell Thicky that he's still okay. Believe. Come on, Josh. Let's not call people names, man. Believing what he believes. <laughs> It's not what I, this, this is not just what I believe. This is what other people know already. Okay? All the true saints know already. God has preserved uh, uh, His words already in the hearts of saints. You know? Um, like, for example, let's see. Hmm, <sighs> Psalms 1830. As for God... His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in Him. Um, we are to keep the word, uh, you know, like 24-7, right? Um, let's see. Uh, mm, let's see. Another thing. I think there is one in Col Colossians also. Um, how the epistles are recorded already in the, in the hearts of saints. Anyway, uh, let me just kind of think of that verses for now. Uh, uh, but uh, let's continue with your diatribe. Well, not, not every Christian, okay, is as mature as you are. <laughs> that 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 does not answer the issue of doctrine, sir. Oh yeah, it does. No, it really doesn't. Because if you're going to be, if you're going to take a leadership role and become a teacher, okay, I'm taking a leadership role at all, do I'm you pointing believe out you have that, the gifts, the gift I'm of teaching? No, because clearly I don't have the temperament to have the gift okay. of teaching. And what if is, I did, if I did, 
I what would be inside a church, actually what doing is your, ministry. Okay, that's fair enough. What What's your gift then? What do you believe Observational your gifts are? discernment. <clears throat> okay. Well, you're not doing very well. <laughs> In what regard? <laughs> because you're talking to a fellow brother. No, I'm not. No, you're not a yeah. brother. Yeah, I might be a toenail. You're, you're a pluralist, but yeah, I'm a brother. Satan sucking faggot. That's what you there are. There you go. And and there there's our See, dilemma. If you validate Thicky and you hold this insane well, version of hypergrace, which I know you Dem do. <laughs> Hypergrace. I don't hold to uh, hypergrace. Sam doesn't talk to me like that. Number one, we can well, have Sam, a coherent conversation yeah, without okay. insults. You know what, dude? Yeah, I don't get. Oops, hold on. Crap. Your type of uh, circle jerking faggotry meandering you're engaging in with thick shits. Okay, I don't care about how how you guys are all buddy buddy banging each other up the fucking asshole. I don't care. <laughs> That's so I'm mad. Talking about the hip -hop. Hey, hey, Josh, man, I don't know why you're so mad all the time, man. I mean, again, the reason why you know you can only resort to such insults and such a such vivid inf uh, imagination is probably because you do not have the Holy Ghost, man. Ocracy. Of it all the idea that you think for five seconds that you can have even one iota of credibility to validate thick shades as a fellow believer brother in the Lord but to condemn me say I'm not in the faith why because I use terminology and words that the prophets themselves used well I'm sorry you're not a prophet as I have given you um, and also why I think that you're not a prophet, okay? Um, it, it, and secondly, you have been appealing to yourself based on faulty premises. I mean, I don't know why that is so hard to understand that, you know? And based on such faulty premises, you render, um, you know, self-righteous judgment. And that's not what Christians do, Josh. The way you're talking to me right now, okay, is what uh, you have the, heard. The condescending tones is what and, you have heard. and the and the descriptive, you know. Words I wish that I you could like come up. Use. I wish I could come up with better because you're more gross. You're more well, disgusting. You're more perverse, heretical, and blasphemous <laughs> than even have. You, you would have to try harder. I still love her, even if you're not in Christ. Raw. You are again. I'm going to say this again. And my hope is it, that you do. Every time you say it, Christ. it kind of pisses me off when you say you love someone because you're you're a hateful man. What? Your heart, your heart is so full much. of venom because your heart is full of venomous hate. No, because what no, you no, do is you, you misunderstand. Validate, like Jamie said, you're basically wanting in. to ride Sam. I know this is your stream. To, to ride let me jump in. down the road into the pit of hell is what you're doing. Okay. So why does that offend you so much that I suggest that you might not be in Christ? Because of the hypocrisy. I don't know how many different ways to paint this, Raw. I don't understand why you're so stupid and slow. It's not about that you are directing it at me. It's that you are negating to direct it at literally anyone but me. No, this I've, is the I've point. directed it at other people. Well, not Thicky, and not Bill, and not Bruce. <laughs> And not Andy, <laughs> and not Janet, and not any of these other sycophantic trash nuts that I've seen floating around in this disgusting cesspool environment. Well, here's the thing, Josh. You know, if I I I feel that you know uh, that you are so hurting inside because you are so effeminate. But here's the thing: if you want to talk, then you're gonna have to like unblock me and learn to listen to other people, actually. You know, so, you know, maybe we can have a hangout. Maybe I can open up a hangout or you can uh, go to like neutral ground where uh, Bruce is and stuff like Bruce's channel even. But, you know, you got to promise that you're going to keep your composure. You, you know what I'm saying? You cannot be just like, you know, self-righteously judging people and then just run all over the place, blocking them and muting them and, and things like that. All right, Josh. You reserve all your judgment against anything they do or say or believe, but you got a whole bunch of it all of a sudden coming at me. 
And by the way, if you have a problem with my words, well, you have a problem with the words of the prophets. You're condemning them. <laughs> you're, you're not a prophet, man. Me, which is just another layer to your not only no, I don't condemn them. But your blasphemy. Well, you just did. No, By no. issuance of the statement that my words are over the line, well, certainly theirs are too. I mean, they're talking about not only whores, but whores getting banged by donkey dicks. Oh my God. You're taking to an extra level of the yeah. level. But this guy has such a vivid imagination about some donkey dicks or whatever. Man, stupidity is beyond any belief, this guy. But, and I haven't taken it to in some of this uh, communication. I mean, okay. you, if you condemn me for those words, you do implicitly condemn the prophets and make yourself a blasphemous, damnable heretic. Mm, and you could do uh, that if you want, but it's just your point of desperation. We'll you have know to why agree to all? disagree on that one. Because you but... don't want, you just don't want your friends to be called out. You no. want them to go ahead no. and end up in hell. Because again, this is what my no. point is: why you're incapable Absolutely of love. Not. This is the whole conclusion. You, you're Absolutely a, you're a disgusting, not. toxic, hateful soul. Because yeah, let me just kind of like uh, share certain uh, passages with you uh, before you go on and on with your stupid antics, um, Josh. The uh, mm, let's see. Okay, here's like for example, like uh, Psalm twelve seven, Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Okay, we, so we know the word of God is being preserved, right? So but the the question is, where is he preserving? Second Corinthians three three, for as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the Living God, not in tables of stone but in fleshy tables of the heart. So it's quite obvious that the Word of God is written in the hearts of saints. All right? Even this 2 Corinthians 3.3 3 was written before any Bible that you claim as Word of God. All right? Again, I'm not saying the Word of the Bible, it, the Word of God is not contained in the Bible. The Bible contains the Word of God. But all the scriptures that you are reading and things like that, that is, according to your logic, that is before the Word of God then. I mean, does it even make sense? Right? The Bible is not the Word of God. It's not the Word of God. It contains it. However, it's not the Word of God as you idolize. I hope that you can actually understand what I'm talking about, but, of course, you have no uh, dishonor of all truth in you. That's why you take in all this garbage. You have to learn it from theologies. And because you have no dishonor, you cannot discern what is true or false. And that's what's happening right to you right now, Josh. So you want these people to end up in hell. Now, whether you're too scared... See, another, another faulty stuff, you know... I, I mean, even for me personally, I don't want you to end up in hell. But the way you are going, you are going to end up in hell. That's what uh, Brother Ra is talking about. You don't have Jesus in you, obviously. You know, as I have shared with you about the fruit of the Spirit and also the gift of the Spirit. You know, I mean, to, let me, like, for example, um, then share with you... Uh, uh, gift of the Spirit, for example. All right, I share with you what the fruit of the Spirit is, but the gift of the Spirit I'll share with you, and I'll share with you in uh, NIV that you, pre uh, you you like to read. Okay. All right, gift of the Spirit um, is actually there are seven. Okay, wisdom, knowledge, faith healing, miracles, prophecy, and discerning of spirits. All right? So it is quite obvious that you have no wisdom because you don't even know the difference between the Word of God and the, and the book. Right? And secondly, you don't have knowledge of the Spirit. You only have the knowledge of certain theologies. Okay? You only have knowledge of the world. 
And thirdly, faith. You got no faith whatsoever. You walk by sight, not by faith. I mean, this is so obvious. That's why you are, you are nothing but fleshy. And certainly, you don't have any healing. You don't have any gift of healing. You don't have any working of miracles. You have, you have, you have not made any prophecy, yet you call yourself as a prophet. And you cannot even discern what is what, right? You don't have any discerning of the spirits. So you have no, nothing, not a gift of the spirit. And this actually also telling me that you are not even in the Holy Spirit to begin with, Josh. Stupid to know what's going on, to try and prevent what's happening, or you're complicit. You're an emotion worshiper, much <laughs> like Bruce. This is what Satan would say. And that's what he's like. His he likes to do, accusing the saints. And you just want to be a perpetual validator and enabler because that's where you find virtue. But that's let's hear his dice tribe. Let's hear his stupid accusations over and over. Let's hear you, Josh. Flesh. That that that's not spiritual discernment. That's fleshly uh, sensibilities that are shining through and, and, and informing what your virtuous decisions are supposed to be about. Mm. And it has to do with enablement. Okay, mm. when you say mm. you love someone and you are in the process of enabling them, um, it's disgusting and it's a lie and it causes me to, to get disgusted with you when you <laughs> utter it. It's like, it's like <laughs> as if you were to say, um, uh, for instance, a skinny boyfriend who is bringing boxes of Twinkies to a 800 pound obese bitch who is completely <laughs> leaving her. Wait a minute. Okay, so the premise is that boyfriend. The, the important key word is boyfriend. And why, I don't know why he wants to down, downgrade uh, heavy weight uh, women. Okay? But the skinny guy is considering that uh, um, heavy heavier women as, as girlfriend. So what's wrong with bringing something that you know she would like? You know? her bed and the man brings this box of Twinkies and sets it down in front of her and says I love you okay oh well so I mean she she may uh, gain a little bit of weight she may even portion it she may have it little by little but that doesn't mean that her boyfriend doesn't love her or you stupid idiot okay. none right. of what just happened connects with love <laughs> Now, they're going to claim it's love. They're going to claim it's virtue. Gonna... Even by your own example, even by your own logic, I, al I already defeated you, Josh. I already defeated. Okay? So, give, give me another example. Claim they're helping the person. But at the end of the day, in terms of a roundabout conclusion to what they're deciding to do, they're full of hate. They hate this person. They, they love themselves. No, no, I don't hate you, Josh. You know, it's just that I, I, you know, I consider you as like a comedian, like, you know, little shill. <laughs> like a little shill from like Satanists, you know, because no Christian would be speaking like you so, with so much hatred, you know. Elves, by virtue of hatred. Of the other person. Well, oh, I don't think uh, I don't think Ra hates you. Their codependency causes them to want to damage that human being while making themselves feel like they're somehow virtuous and noble. It's the same thing you do, Ra. This is why mm. when you say you love someone, I hear you hate them. That's what I hear. That's what I hear come out of your mouth. Really? Because I know the way that you represent. Here's the thing. I wish that you can actually even pretend to love. I mean, that's what you're saying. You're saying that Ra is pretending. But, you know, if I were to, like, choose between you and Ra, I would choose Ra, even if, like, he would pretend. At least he wants to love you, right? That much you gotta admit. If you don't believe him saying that he loves you, then at least you gotta admit that he wants to love you. Are you also denying that? But regardless, you haven't shown any love, nor to me, nor to, uh, to Ra, to, nor to anyone you dog on, any Christian, a true Christian that you dog on. You haven't shown any love. As I have said, you have nothing but works of flesh. Again, those works of flesh, what are they? Hmm? 
sexual immorality, just like what you've done with that poor minor kid, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, how you are idolizing the Bible, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, self, selfish ambition, dissensions, fraction, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, talking about some donkey dick all the time. Again, I shared you in NIV so that you could understand in NIV, I guess. <laughs> Present wow. love is not actually love. Get it? Mm, I don't get it. it. It seems like you're the one who didn't get it. I mean, if you don't want, like, Ra's love, obviously you don't, then, you know, at least you don't have to, like, falsely accuse. You can just ignore me or ignore anyone, but you are so effeminate. You cannot ignore. And even this, you cannot ignore. <laughs> but you are so cowardly, and you cannot come to me because your stupid works of darkness will be reproved by me. And that's why you can only mute me or block me or things like that. Talk over all those things because you are so afraid that your deeds will be reproved, Josh. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I just don't necessarily fully agree with what you're saying. I agree with, you know, the, the part about, you know, enabling someone to continue if I thought they were continuing well, let me, in let me something try to, that was against God. Uh, yeah, go let me try to sure it up for you, and, and I'll try to make this as, as clear as I can. Um, let me see this. Uh, let me make sure I can word this, to try to be as concise as I can. Um, I absolutely, completely despise you as a person, Raw. Okay. <laughs> through and through, right down to your core, right down to your... Well, here's the thing. Even right there kind of tells me that you are not in Jesus. You know, just like Ross said, you need Jesus. As Jesus said, to love your enemy, love others. Even If you cannot even love your uh, uh, brethren, and therefore uh, that, you know, you become a liar, at least try to love others. You know, but you're not even doing that. In fact, you even admitted that you actually hate Ra here. So that is actually also one of the uh, works of flesh, hatred. So again, right there, you know, you have not any, <laughs> any spirit of God. Your individual character and your complete ineptitude at thinking. I absolutely despise you. Down you have that. You however, have that right. however, that actually proves that you are not a Christian, Josh. Hello. However, um, I I do that through the continuation of the recognition of love of the community, because I don't <laughs> want them to be perverted. You mean like your minions? I mean, did I not mention about dissensions? All right? It's not the community. It's your little minions that you have, like four or five minions that you have together. Okay, All those guys who are censoring in the comment section. That's it. That's not the community in whole. All right? You are actually creating that sort of dissensions. Do you understand what that means, Josh? Let me tell you what dis dissension means. Dissension actually means... Disagreement, disagreement that kind of leading to discord. That's exactly what you are doing. You are leading all these Christians into discord. You are seeking discord. That's what satanic, idiotic, uh, 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 false converts like you would do. You know, they would privily, meaning secretly, come into the body. And then, because you envy what we share, you seek discord with hatred. And that's what you exactly been doing, Josh. Goodbye. You see? You see? Hmm. This, this is where the proper application. Now, I would stop despising you. Probably in relatively short order if you stop this idiot. Well, you know, don't put forth any kind of condition, Josh. That's where you failed already. That's why you think that God is such a conditional being to the point that he would take away any uh, salvation that's given already. You know what I'm saying? Even that kind of heresy is quite damnable because it's actually 
dissing, disrespecting the very characteristics of God, Josh. Idiotic nonsense and validation antics you're constantly engaging in. You probably find me to start to become a lot more uh, accommodating, actually. It, because when I oh well, you know, I don't think Ra will be kissing your ass, kissing your ass soon, just like your uh, minions. I mean, I, I I don't understand like how you could think that you know true Christians will be kissing your butt and joining uh, your hate fest. You know that will not happen. Okay, Josh. So forget about your wish. I see changes in people. I like to try and give benefit of the doubt, just like I have with Brett Keen. Everyone has told me not to trust Brett Keen, not to talk to Brett Keen, not let Brett Keen in the room. Brett Keen never changes. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> what? Well, what am I doing? I'm well, you let Brett Keen because he kisses your ass. You know, when we even had a little debate. You probably, uh, you know, recognize how Brett was partial, par quite partial to you. You know, he's correcting me, yet he's not correcting you. I mean, that's why you let him in. I mean, I mean, isn't it so obvious? I'm letting Brett Keen in. I'm talking to Brett Keen. Why am I doing that? Well, because I'm giving Brett Keen the benefit of the doubt. Well, you have no right to give Brett any benefit of doubt. Okay, Brett is just fine as himself. You know, he likes to go in back and forth, you know, uh, seeking, you know, what kind of dramas or some whatever, you know, popular cha channels or where he can uh, grow his view counts in, on this YouTube medium. You know, that's, you know, he changes his position quite, you know, quite, quite well. And we know about his integrity on YouTube and even atheists know that but still you know he's respected you know, by on his right so you know it's not like you are allowing him or whatever okay but anyway just yeah sure whatever man do whatever crap you want with him <laughs> that when he expresses that he really wants to learn and improve and grow and change well I'm gonna judge it by that not by virtue nobody can learn anything Jesus from you Josh nobody okay because n you have no Jesus in you nothing I mean where in your little mind displayed any Jesus where have you even shared any passage for example like I have where have you displayed any fruit or any kind of result, right, of the Holy Spirit? Where have you actually demonstrated that you possess some sort of gift to the point that you would compare yourself with prophets in Old Testament? Nothing. You're nothing but little mouth, man. Nothing but little fart. Show what he's done in the past. I've right. never had a problem with bread. No, no, but I, I'm not saying you are. Just listen, dude, listen to what I'm saying. I'm using it as an anecdotal example. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I'm saying this is... You failed, Josh. ...the application of my particular spirituality and process that I do... Oh, I want to hold people accountable. Unless you can truly humble and repent and believe on Christ, you will never, never be able to join in the body of Christ, no matter how much you make yourself, you know, to be a Christian or no matter how much you render yourself as a Christian. Because that's exactly what you're doing. You're rendering yourself as a Christian with you know, all these doctrines you picked up. Even the doctrines you picked up are not even accurate and true, such as like how you would misrepresent the characteristics of God, how you would actually even not understand about the flood and why that happened and why it's global. I mean, all those things. Even those doctrines that you picked up, even the Trinity doctrine you picked up, you know, how you are so confused about it, you know. You, you say you believe in the doctrine of Trinity, but you espouse on this doctrine saying that Jesus is God. You know, I, of course I agree Jesus is God, but the thing is, just, if you just end there, you are just espousing oneness because Jesus is God manifest in the flesh. Jesus is the Word made flesh. Yet, if you just say that Jesus is God, you are saying that Jesus is a spirit. You know, you are making flesh the same as a spirit. And that, that's what oneness is. All right, Josh. That's how stupid you are. Even the doctrines 
of men that you hold, even the theologies that you hold, because you are not you know, fully grasping, because you are not able to discern what is true or false, because you have not the Holy Ghost, you yourself fall into that very condemnation you condemn others with. But I don't need to hold them accountable once they've accepted their accountability and moved on from. <laughs> oh, you're so God. Oh, my God. In fact, that would be counterproductive to do so. Well, I don't, don't misunderstand I, me. Oh, I'm, I'm so agreeing stupid, with you man. about breath. <laughs> okay. I don't... Well, are you? My God, this guy's so yeah. stupid, man. It's so, incredible. Like, it's totally fine with me welcoming him back into the community and the channel and wanting to be a contributor because I'm trying yeah, to Yeah, I actually see what you're doing with Wilkie okay. Kate, too. All right, beautiful. Excellent. You see that too. Okay, good. Good. Well, that's a step. Well, forward. for me, I see is quite idiotic because, you know, Brad calls himself he's a Christian now, right? But yet he hangs around with, you know, like, like you, Josh. You know, I mean, why would he, would he have a fellowship with works of darkness? I don't understand. You know, I can understand why Willie is, you know, hanging around with you because you guys are the same kind. But at least, you know, Willie is not claiming that he's a Christian. However, Brad is. So why, I don't understand why Brad is spending so much time as having, you know, that sort of evil uh, fellowship with your kind, uh, Josh. You are nothing but works of darkness. Okay? You're not a saint. You're actually a kid of Satan, Josh. So in order for me to be effective, Rob, I have to be on point, and I have to be uh, confident in these. Now, which you have failed over and over. If you are so confident, man, why are you muting my audio? If you are so confident, then why are you blocking my channels? If you are so confident, then why are you even blocking me on StreamYard? And yet talking about me over and over every freaking day. That's because you are not confident. That's because you fear me, Josh. What you will see, and ladies and gentlemen, this is to your benefit as well. I hope you guys are paying attention. You'll see me take a stance of, you almost might call it absolutist confidence. <laughs> but that's what we... He wants to be God so much. This little self-righteous bosker, man, condescend on, uh, to others and, and, and true saints because he's so full of it, man. Because I'm operating based upon what I've deemed as the highest probability of being true. <laughs> um, and that is supported by argument and exegesis. And as far as I'm concerned... Well, you know, those arguments, they are not the Holy Spirit, Josh. And that's why you keep making error. That's what I primarily need if I'm going to make it. No, well, you know, you need the Holy Ghost, but you don't have Him. Um, that's what kind of, what Ra means when he said you need Jesus. And if you cannot be even be born, in the ho born again in the Holy Ghost, you know, obviously you're not going to have any kind of gift nor any kind of fruits fruit of the Spirit. An argument in someone's position of error. I need the Bible, and I need exegesis of the Bible. <laughs> and if I have those things, I'm ready. It doesn't matter how, much, uh, how many books of Bible you have, all right? If you have not the love of the truth, you will not have any love for your uh, brethren. If you have not received the dishonor, you are not going to have to discern what is what. If you have not received the Holy Ghost, you will constantly rage, you constantly throw fits, you will constantly seek uh, dissensions, you will constantly seek discord, and you will constantly display you know, that kind of hatred. All those like works of flesh you will be constantly showing, and exactly what you've been doing, okay? Because you have not the Holy Ghost. You need to walk in. And I'm ready to confront anyone on any deviance or perversion or error possible. And I'm also going to have the tools to recognize the things that are reasonably dangerous and the things that reasonably aren't. Well, obviously, you don't have the Holy Ghost. So it doesn't matter how many tools you have. And because you have not the Holy Ghost, you are so afraid of me. Do you understand? Okay. So I'm not going to waste time uh, saying things like young earthers are going to hell. Well, why would they go to hell when even Jesus was young Arthur, so to say? Even Jesus mentioned about uh, male and female being made from the beginning. You know, when Jesus was mentioning about the global uh, flood, you know, I mean, 
<laughs> if anyone would be going to hell, that would be you, Josh. Or Calvinists are damned. Or Arminians are are you know uh, go, you know going down to the pit to be burned up. I, these are non-salvific peripheral issues, even by reasonable deciphering. From well, it is quite salvific in a way that if you have not the Holy Ghost, you know, Christ will say, he, you know, I know you not, for example, like those wise and foolish virgins. No matter how much you package yourself like a virgin, because you are so foolish to the point that you will not have the Holy Ghost, Christ wants to tell you that I, you know, I know you not. All right, they are all virgins. Okay, they all pre they all pose to be virgins. They all expect the bridegroom to come. Okay, however, one group, wise virgins, have the Holy Spirit. The other group, the foolish ones like you, Josh, have not the Holy Ghost. Sure has told us. However, then there's another side. Of there's the attacks against the nature of God, the perversion of what... Yeah, just like how you attack the nature of God, saying that God will take away your salvation given to you already, you know, and you make God such a conditional being, conditional love, all right? Even the scripture says not to have such, all right? Not to have such hypocritical uh, love, you know? You, when you are actually, like, uh, misrepresenting God like that, obviously, you know, that's quite damnable. He's revealed about who he is and how he exists, and also the work of the gospel. These are things that whenever they pop up... So your words are actually condemning you. Okay, I hope you realize that, Josh. ...in scripture, in any type of anecdotal form, are always rightly condemned right down to the pit of hell. And this is why I take these particular things so seriously. So if I come across a oneness heretic, as an example, like Sister Sunshine, for example, <laughs> I'm concerned... Well, like oneness, like for example, is I think it's a logical issue and not being able to understand clearly what it says in the Bible. I don't consider oneness as like damnable heresy, okay? Because, like, just because, like, someone confused, like... Uh, uh, the, like certain aspects of God doesn't mean that he or she is denying the very characteristics of God. ...of a level of, of extreme caution that Sister Sunshine through her... Uh, and I, I'll give her credit, she's a nice lady. In fact, that's what makes her more dangerous in my mind as a heretic is because she's nice, just like Andy. Andy well, I, don't even, I don't even know <laughs> Sister Sunshine. To be okay, honest. well, let's use Andy. I think you know Andy, right? Do you know Andy I've, Cap? You know Andy Cap, right? Yeah, I've known okay, Andy for the same. Right. Yeah. And Andy Cap is, is what you would probably deem to be a sweet man, right? For the most part? Yeah, he comes okay. across as, as being very kind. Yeah, yeah I agree with you. And I, actually, I, yeah. I actually agree. I disagree with, with his, uh, his, uh, his no, uh, I know, universalism. But, but, but Even universalism you know, is also a logical issue. Uh, from not understanding clearly what the scripture says. And I know where Andy is coming from. Right, the uh, uh, but doesn't mean that you know he's going to hell. You know he's he believes in Christ, and even Christ said that whosoever believes in, in him shall be saved, shall have eternal life. So, you know, I mean, all this kind of like um, appealing that you do, Josh, right? Appealing to your you know theologies and doctrines of man. And therefore, you think that you have right to, un, you know, unrighteously or self-righteously, you know, judge t these people. It's not Christian at all. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, well we're not there yet. I know. But, but, but I'm saying uh, we can, we can both him. agree. Well, okay. Anyway, we can both agree. Well, that's what Jesus said. You, actually, in fact, you should love them even more. All right? You can point out their errors, but you should love them more. But you are doing totally opposite. You are not even point, pointing them out. You are just just crapping on them and crapping on them. <laughs> Which kind of in turn means that I can crap on you too then. <laughs> we can both agree that Andy is an error. We can both agree that he's in uh, universalist heresy. 
Okay. We can also agree that he's a very nice man. Now, where we will probably disagree is that I think Andy Cap, if he does not repent of this damnable heresy, is going to. Well, I thought, I thought, I thought you were talking about me, Josh, and all of a sudden you're talking about all these people. Oh my God, this guy is just. <sighs> you have so much enemy, man. I'm not considering you as my enemy, even. I'm just considering you as entertainment. Please, you you gotta know that. You know, I mean, you are not even worthy of my, being my enemy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I I don't even know what I have done to you. Uh, all you know, all I know is that you hate me for the reasons that you kind of conjure up in your little mind yourself, right? And uh, based on false premises. So, and even including like some kind of stupid sock accounts that you are, you and your minions are accusing me of. Right? And someone else was pretending to be me and you're falsely accusing saying that is me. Right? I mean, I didn't even know that you existed until you falsely accused or whatever, you know, saying all kind of idiotic, stupid things. And then, you know, I went to your channel and you're still doing it. And when I tried to like confront you and you just call me names and you just kick me. <laughs> and now you have just completely like blocked me. And when I go to your stupid channel, in your stupid stream uh, with uh, on a different device, you would just mute me, okay? You wouldn't. So, like, what what does that even tell me? You know, you're 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 a fart. <laughs> they go down to the pit of hell, where his heresy originated. Well, see, that's him. we'll have right. to agree to disagree on that. See, I know you disagree with yeah. me on that. However, now this yeah. is where you need to understand, Rob. Well, if that, I, that may I... be the difference between my gift and yours. You know, I I claim the, the gift of evangelism where you don't apparently well, but, but, so, but a gift, a gift is not is awesome well, hold on so. if you have a gift from the spirit the the presence of that gift should be used for good not evil okay so if you have a gift that helps you promote evil or is used to promote evil then that's probably not a good thing okay so first of all i have made it clear that you have no gift of the spirit Okay, you only have some worldly, uh, worldly wisdom and knowledge kind of thing. You have, you cannot perform any miracle. You cannot prophesy. You cannot discern which one is which. So obviously, you have no gift of the spirit, Josh. Okay, um, and validating Thicky as a Christian is pure legitimate evil. Well, that's another thing. Uh, whether. Uh, Ra or anyone else think of me as Christian or not, it's actually none of your business, first of all, right? And secondly, if you have a problem with it, then you should actually talk about it with me, not you conjuring up your idiotic, faulty premises, and then therefore uh, rendering unrighteous ju judgment, all right? That's not what uh, anyone, whether you are... Uh, Christian or not, that's not what anyone would do. But that's what you're doing, Josh. Okay? So that, again, tells me how, first of all, how fearful, uh, how you are actually fear me. And secondly, how unchristian, meaning you're not saved, meaning you're not a Christian, how much you need Jesus in you, Josh. No doubt about it. Promote evil. How do you uh, how do you suggest that by by because, validating Thicky as a Christian? Because I still love Andy and, and Sam no, no, no. and disagree with their opinions about no love no you don't love them. Well, well, Josh, it doesn't matter how much you think that I'm not a Christian or not. It doesn't matter how much you falsely accuse saying that I'm some sort of Satanist. I've been Christian since when I was a 12, and I was born again in, in 2008. And you probably won't even know what that means, all right? Here's the thing, Josh, you know, um, I know, at least, and I'm sure other people will agree, that you have not the Holy Ghost, okay? You have no gift, you have no fruit of the Spirit, and yet you would just sit there and dog on other people, including me. It's just kind of comical. You know, it's quite a, um, how should I say, uh, kind of like buffoonery. <laughs> you 
You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but idiotic uh, mumbo jumbo that you are talking about. You're, I mean, you are the one who didn't, who doesn't even understand the difference between the Bible and the Word of God. All right. I mean, even that alone, even that alone is quite, you know, unintelligent. But on top of that, you are judging uh, me unrighteously and self-righteously. And even that actually showed me how foolish you are. Okay, Josh? Yeah, Let me explain how you don't love them. Because you don't care about correcting them, and you don't care if they end up in hell. Well, what do you what do you think doctors. what do you think I've been That's doing for the last them. ten years? What trying to save their souls, or just trying to tell? Even Ra knows, even Ra knows what I'm talking about. Okay, only person here who has no clue about the difference between the Word of God and the Bible is you, Josh. All right. So in regards to that. Regarding that uh, aspect, you know, there's nothing that Ra needs to be correcting me about. However, you need to be corrected. But thing is, you are so pompous that you cannot even take any correction. You know, and you, you, you have no meekness because you have no fruit of the Spirit. You have no gentleness, so to say, in NIV. Right? So when you have no fruit of the Spirit... There is no point of actually taking you any seriously. All right, Josh? You are the issue. You are the problem, man. Yeah. I mildly disagree with their yeah, doctors. Try, no. Try, <laughs> all of the above, actually. Okay. Well, you I need mean, to... Andy, you, Andy you know, and I, I used to Okay. Go when you it. All right, dude. When you validate Sam as a fellow brother in the Lord, you've just chopped your feet off in terms of uh, any real actual impact to Sam whatsoever. Because well, you've that, well, at least he's calling me Sam now. <laughs> Thank you, Almighty One, Smokey. <laughs> you notice that I didn't call you Josh, right? So if you are able to pro properly address me, I'll, you know, properly address you as the name that you like. But if you call me as like some, you know, name, then I'll call you the name that you don't like then, I guess. Told him, you've told him he's an Arab, but you've also told him he's a Christian. So you've told you know, him I know that... Uh, I know these guys have attacked you, Smokey. I know that. I know. I I, I saw. This isn't you know, about that. This isn't about that. I. It, are you sure? I'm dead certain. I, dude, I'm literally opening up with the fact that Thicky is an implicit Satan. Well, listen, Josh. I'm not a Satanist, and for you to unrighteous unrighteously judge me and accuse me of being a Satanist, unrighteous meaning like you are basing on your faulty premise right and the premise also include that you're wrong information and also your logic like for example you not knowing the difference between the word of god and the bible right and based on that you are rendering me as some sort of stupid satanist then i don't know i mean do you want to talk about it but you won't talk about it why because you block me <laughs> you mute me you don't even know the difference between the bible and the word of god josh and I'm really upset with people that are going to call an implicit Satanist a Christian. But I mean, I think I've the been thing with Bill, the thing with me, the thing with I, I'm not talking about Bill. Andy, Bill is, the thing Bill, with Bill Sam. Bill is irrelevant to me. Bill is irrelevant to me. I'm talking about Sam. I'm talking about the implicit uh, Satanist in the midst and you trying to validate him as a brother in the Lord. This is what we're talking about, Ron. That is well, I'm so Satanist because like, I'm like implicitly like among all of you. Listen, Josh, here's the thing. You know, you are the one who swallowed all these lies about me from Ryan, okay? Including socks or including, like, you know, whatever, the Word of God and the Bible. You are the one who got, who swallowed Ryan's lies, okay? Let's, I mean, let's, let's go back how this all happened. I said over and over that I... Don't say such things that you are saying, right? But turned out that you are the one that confusing the Word of God and the Bible. You are the one buying all these stupid lies from Ryan. You are the one laying down idiotic conclusions based on such information, faulty informations. 
So it's not me, it's you, Josh. And because you're so foolish, you can only swallow lies. Because you do not have any um, uh, Holy Spirit, because you do not have the discerner of truth, sometimes you will swallow truth, but most of the times you will uh, you love to swallow lies. And that's what's been happening, Josh. I validate him as a brother. I don't agree with his... That's my, that's my point. That, well, if he has extra biblical doctrines, there's a high probability in my mind he's not saved. Okay? Well, well I mean, does quantum effect mentioned in the Bible? I mean, what I'm observing is the quantum effect, and I would be uh, frankly admitting that I am observing such. I'm, I'm, I'm laying out why uh, that people are observing it. I mean, it, I mean, you don't have to be like all biblical about it, first of all, right? So did I say that if you do not observe that, then therefore you are not saved? I mean, what the heck are you crapping about, Josh? You I'm can't trying to add, use your terminology. You can't the things add, that, okay. the things are you allowed that to add believes. to the gospel or subtract from the gospel? No. And okay, I think that, you know, if you were to talk to, genuinely talk to Sam, you would see that you would agree. Give me a break, bro. He's not going to do that. <laughs> I mean, he has no genuineness whatsoever. And as I have said, he has already blocked me. You know, he already muted my audios and everything. Okay? Hey, with, hold on. No, with no, with no, the no, core no, doctrines no, of the no, gospel. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. We don't even serve the same God. Vicky is oneness. We're not no, I'm not oneness. <laughs> Another false accusation based on, I don't know how he, he thinks that. I don't know what makes him think that. Another accusation. Another false conclusion. Stupidity. And also, let's say I am oneness. I don't know, I mean, why he would think that, but let's say, then w what Ra is saying, then you're going to have to talk about it. But you are not able to talk about it, Josh, because you fear me. Not even of the same ilk. Yeah, in terms of to me, that's just a label, bro. I, I don't, you know. Yeah, well, well, that's because you're inept and, and mentally yeah, worthless well, and theologically yeah. cancerous. Okay, okay. You see, <laughs> see, this is why I despise you, Raw. You're a validator. Yeah, nothing but stupidity from Josh. This is why I consider him as a comedian. Um, nothing but entertainment. You're an enabler. You actually oh. make my work more difficult. You but really I, I don't understand why Ra would go in there and entertain him. I, I don't understand. Uh, especially when he said he won't, but you know, regardless, you know that's your right, uh, Ra. You know you can do whatever you want, but you know I hope that you can. You are able. You are. You are seeing what's going on right now. Really, truly do. You are one of those people insulated. What is your What is the, your work you're trying to do? Conviction and observational discernment. I already went through this with you. <laughs> so when I pointed. Yeah. Uh, first of all. Your observation discernment is, is sucks because it's based on your uh, uh, incomplete informations, okay? Discernment comes from the Holy Spirit. And because you have no Holy Spirit, you are basing the discernment a, uh, with certain skewed observation, okay? That's why you're not able to lay out you know, correct, true conclusion. I, I mean, I don't understand why you are so uh, obtuse about this, okay? Uh, the, uh, one of the things that I can only say is that you are not born again. You are not a Christian, right? That's why you are basing on, you know, your uh, biased and lopsided observation as discernment. All right, Josh. Taking out these chains of arguments and statements of people's danger. So you then I have you, then I have scumroach parasites like you, you want to, that come to along play the role and of the Holy Spirit that. is what you're no, saying. No, 
I want to play the role <laughs> of oh, isn't he the one? Yeah, Ra just got that right there. Okay, Ra is saying that, you know, you're, you're being the Holy Spirit. That's what Ra is saying. And guess what? This idiot, Josh, you know, he doesn't get it. And it convicts us of sin. Well, okay, all right, I'll give that to you. The Holy Spirit convicts us of sin. How? Yeah, let him do that. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. How? <laughs> this is so hilarious. Well, you probably don't know how because obviously you have no Holy Spirit. <laughs> Go ahead. What's your no, opinion no, on that? No, it, it's not a rhetorical. I'm asking you. You just said the Holy Spirit <clears throat> convicts. Right. So I want you to tell me how, because I have... Say what Ra is saying, the Holy Spirit convicts you. But you are, you are actually convicting and condemning other people. And that's why Ra said you are acting like, you are acting as the Holy Spirit. Hello, you stupid idiot. An answer as to how, and it's multifaceted, I think yours answer to the how is very, very stupid. So I would like you to tell me what the how is on your side of the as to how the Holy so stupid, Spirit it's incredible, man. So I'll wait. Well, once once you're in Christ and Christ is in you, and you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, He gives you a a conscience again. Your conscience, oh, beautiful! Your well, you know what? If your you conscience is seared, I love this. if your you conscience you is seared, then you you can't hear. And receive oh, teachings I love from this. the Holy Spirit. Oh, I love this so. Which means that you have no Holy Ghost. I don't know what you would love about. All right, Josh. Very much. You know what, Rod? Do you have any idea what you just did? And I love you for it. Actually, I really kind of do. You just went up a few notches in my book by what you just said, because um, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Your book. <laughs> You just gave every justification for you to shut your stupid, filthy, goddamn mouth and never speak to another soul about correction ever again. Wow. I appreciate that. Well, I don't think Ra made, was trying to make any correction, but if it is the correction, then, you know, the correction will be only valid upon a Christian. And obviously, you know, uh, you are not a Christian. That's why... You know, obviously his correction is like, you know, throwing pearls to like pigs like you, Josh. I appreciate you coming in to make I, that statement that I everything you've ever said. Language, but... Is this almost over? Oh my God, there, you know, he's he has more diatribe. I mean, I'm going to like, you know, end this soon because like the same thing over and over, this idiot is regurgitating. But I everything you you've ever said to Thicky should be retracted because well Josh you know if you want him to retract whatever then you should convince him right then he will retract but he's not convinced and also um, even if he, like he uh, let's say he is convinced let's say you know how are you going to convince me for example, I mean, aren't you not the one who's quite afraid of me to the point that you would call me names and block me and mute me, kick me and all that? Aren't you not the one? I mean, what the heck? How's that convincing me, man? You know what I'm saying, Josh? Because, well, that's the work of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> not you. You need to shut your filthy, stupid, idiotic... Well, here's the thing, man. I think that you need to shut the heck up, right? If you can say the same thing to Ra, then Ra or me can say the same thing to you. I mean, I don't understand why you don't get that, Josh. ...mouth and never say another damn word to another human being ever because then you're trying to take the work of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for that, Ra. That was such a wonderful final... That's what you're doing then, Josh. According to your logic, then you should shut the heck up. ...no gift of the evening. You actually managed to get a little bit of, I would say, appeal from me in that. 
Thank uh, this is getting too that. boring that was, anyway. That was a beautiful moment for me. That was the best possible <sighs> culmination I could think for the evening. Excuse I, me. I am glad that we could have this moment of a reasonable meeting of the minds that you should shut your filthy, stupid, idiot mouth for the rest of time because of your own theological positioning. I, I think that's great, <laughs> and I think you should start, right? This guy, this little kid is nothing but a joke, man. Now, and if I ever see you open that filthy, disgusting, Satan Are you gonna follow your trap, own advice? Excuse me. <laughs> exactly. It's not my advice, <laughs> it's your advice. Well, you are actually telling him what to do. So you are taking his advice. So are you going to take his advice? Josh, I mean, what the heck, man? I say we have to judge and should judge. You're the one saying we shouldn't, and then it's... Boring. Well, no. We are to judge righteously, not unrighteously like you, not self-righteously like you, not, ba you know, basing on some faulty information and premises like you, Josh. Only to the Holy Spirit. No, it's judge advice. not for the way that you judge, you shall be judged. Exactly. That's not a... Yeah, you will be judged like you are judging others. In other words, you know, I can, you know, give you the same medicine, you freaking retard. Do you understand that, Josh? Command to not judge. That's a command to judge righteously. And he left. Oh, I'm glad he left, I finally. I hope he follows his own advice. I anyway, I'm going to end this... Oh, shut the heck up. I'm going to end this over here. You know, this guy is nothing but idiocy and stupidity beyond any belief all right so you know i mean whether you want to take him seriously or like an entertainment like me it's up to you uh, however i think i have proved more than enough starting from the flood and even like how he uh skewed the very characteristic of god saying that you know god will take away your salvation and also, and how he's mixing up the Bible and the Word of God and not knowing the difference uh, between the two. And finally, not even knowing what the Holy Spirit does. And this guy is nothing but a stupid fake. And he has no fruit nor gift of the Spirit. And, you know, for those people who are into theologies and those people who are just, you know, wanting to be a Christian, I call them Christian wannabes, you know, <clears throat> they'll, they'll dig in and become his minions. But for those of us who are truly born again in the Holy Ghost, know exactly what this guy is, know exactly what kind of color that he displays on YouTube. And as long as he will not repent and truly believe on Christ, as long as he continues to do so, I'm going to have my feel. I'm going to have my uh, entertainment uh, on this guy continually. You know, in fact, I'm, I'd probably dedicate this channel to, the, uh, to this uh, idiocy, <laughs> calling out his stupid, stupid eisegesis and you know, I, idiotic, uh, hypocritical also, and contradicting doctrines, how he is misrepresenting the very nature and very characteristics of God. Anyway, I mean, there are more of his, you know, all this long-winded crap. I'm going to end here. I think I made my point more than enough. Uh, unblock me. <laughs> you know, even on, on StreamYard. Okay, if you want to talk about me, Josh. All right, that's uh, that's all I gotta say. If I have missed anything, I'll probably say that in the chat area. But if you uh, have also uh, anything else, please don't uh, be uh, hesitant of leaving comments. Uh, I thank you for uh, listening, and all of you, uh, God bless you, and have a good one. Bye for now.